<laughs> well, we're officially live. We are unmuted. We have zero viewers according to Twitch right now, or OBS. So realistically, we might have like two or three. We'll see. What is that? Is it that I think inaccurate? Mean negative four. It, it, yeah, it usually takes some time to update, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Garrick, let me go ahead and give you that uh, promise cube I promised you. For uh, the late start today. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Get out of here. Why? How, how does one move around this board? What? What are you talking about? Okay, no, I'm just, I'm a struggle bus. I'm remembering how controls work. It's fine. It's been a long day. But we're not playing bus. <laughs> nah. No, but... It's been a long day. It's been a long week. This week is awful. I feel it's so bad. Wednesday. We made decisions yesterday, <laughs> and apparently those decisions were wrong. I think, I think with, when like, it's Wednesday, yeah, you can't say it's been a bad week when it's Wednesday, because it's really just starting I, to get going. I can't say tomorrow. it's been a bad week, though. <laughs> I can say it's been a bad week, and I can guarantee tomorrow will be just as bad. I can guarantee it. I'm All so right. tired. <laughs> I'm just remembering the 30 Rock scene now where, where Liz Lemon is like, oh, what a week. And Jack is like, Lemon, it's Tuesday or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're playing John uh, Company to, to no viewers. So let's get going. Lily, did you put this cube in the captain's box uh, last round, like round two? Do you remember? Yes, I did. From a week ago. It was round two. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe. Or did you put it in literally right before we saved? <laughs> um, I don't think I put it in literally right before we saved because I don't think any of us put in cubes. Okay, well then it wise, should, that have that, that been, should have been refreshed into here then. So you'll be able to buy a ship this round if you want. Uh, oh, we have one uh, viewer. B. Leonard is back. Um, hey. hey! Cool, cool. Okay, well, uh, Lily was the previous chairman, so she's first up in the family phase. So, Lily, put a cube somewhere. You can buy a manor. I will. You can buy another share. You can buy a shipyard. What does a manor do? Can you explain? It gives you two points. And that's it. Two points for five What's the one cube per game? Got it. Can't you ever put a one cube per game turn? No, the, these three boxes can have up to three. Um, uh, I see two on those. Theoretically, or I'm sorry, up to two. These three boxes can have up to two. Um, oh, uh, the the court of directors, I think, is infinite. Like, as long as you have money, you can put in as many shares as you want. I might be wrong about that. Okay. I guess, like, uh, I guess my brain just doesn't understand the per game turn thing, because I thought we only ever put out one cube anyway. So one one per turn, yeah. We're on turn three. See game turn up here. Right. So so do we put up more? Like I guess the last time we played, I'm sorry, I'm completely lost. Apparently, the last time we played, I thought during this the family phase we only put out one cube. Can we put out more yeah. than one cube? Yeah. No, you only put out one. No, no you <laughs> you only do you can only you can only pick one box to put stuff in. I may uh, be wrong, but I'm certain. <laughs> but, but that box has different limits. So yes. like you, writer's okay. box, so you like, can put two cubes if in. I were... Officers okay. is two, captain is two. Um shipyards and factories are only limited by the amount of money that you have. Uh, if but I, I can only correctly. pick one box per game turn. Yes. Correct. Got it. I know how words work. Okay. Um, you know what? Let us do some Corporate chairs. That seems like a fun choice. Oh, we're up to three viewers now. Do we want to do any sort of catch up for people who didn't watch first stream or to remind a host who maybe doesn't remember? I did, didn't bank up the company <laughs> as I tried to. So uh, let's do that in about, let's finish the family phase and okay. wait for some more people to trickle in, maybe. And That's fine. We'll do it. This is my toy. But that is a good idea. Um, okay, Lily, you did, uh, you bought a share. Okay, a so shares currently cost three. So yep. pay your three pounds. I did. Oh, you, you did. Okay, great. I had seven. 
Yep, you did. I okay, know. great. Gosh, I'm on it. Not looking at your thing. Yeah, no, I know. I'm going to say, okay, great, a lot. I know. I love I'm gonna it. Say it so often. I'm going to be intentional about it this time. Perfect. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> It's one way to break verbal tics, and it's just to say them every other sentence. Until you get am, I, am, I, uh, am I up now, okay, or is it great. the other way? Uh, no, it is clockwise, so I'm up. Um, You're stalling. Clockwise is very hard for me to imagine when we're not actually at a table. I understand uh, it, but my brain didn't it, like it. It's always to your left. <laughs> just think to your left. And then yeah, Garrett can around. verify that I have no idea which is my left and which is my right. This is correct. It takes me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Oh, it's great. Man. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I just confirmed um, there is no limit to the amount of cubes you can place into a box unless it explicitly says so. Yeah. So manners are one cube return, writers are two cubes return, shares shipyards and factories are unlimited except by the amount of money that you have to pay um so lily if you want to put a second share in you can since you have the oh, money do i do you. that now okay yeah i'll do that now i wasn't sure if you did it like one at a time going around nope. you, you do it all at once okay so then I the company has been given six pounds of revenue to allocate once we uh, elect a chairman uh, and then I am up. So let's see. Um, hey, Billy. I think I'm going to put two in the writer's box over to Garrick. All right. Nerds, he says, as we have a chat about tiny toy soldiers that you have to <laughs> assemble and paint yourself. <laughs> Hey, Billy. Infinity is a great game, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so very wrong about games have hyped it up a ton. I oh, just... yeah, that's true. I always forget that guy loves... Uh, I can never remember his name, even though he's well, was the there's... best board game reviewer in existence until he quit. I mean, there's two of them, so... Uh... Oh, well, the other guy is, is a non-entity. <laughs> he's annoying. You don't like Michael Walker? <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never heard him say anything interesting on the podcast. In all of my listening career <laughs> career someone's paying you to listen to so very wrong about games <laughs> hey man plenty of people have unpaid careers <laughs> that's true mark bigney is the other guy mark bigney that's right that's the name come on true. all the games you like are bad yep it's the only thing that i remember it was a great channel all right get put your cubes in i'm thinking well, think faster. Oh. They started doing videos again, by the he way. doesn't do that. What? Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. I thought he was done forever. Oh, no. So good. They're doing it under So Very Wrong About Games now. They, they're they actually pretty good. The Cosmic Frog one in particular was really funny. I just really like Mark Bigney because he tried to reiterate the Board Game Geek scale in Pride and Prejudice terms, and my <laughs> life was made. Oh, that's <laughs> All right, I'm trying to reappraise uh, myself of the of the game okay. state, and so shares okay, are cheap, well, but at the same time, we're at risk of tanking the company. At which point, shares become like a wasted well, investment yeah. almost. So the company is in really bad shape. Yeah, because uh, we have that bad no, shape. we have almost no ships. Um, and I guess, I guess. Oh, wait, Lily shit. I forgot that one. I had a captain. Wait, I messed this up so badly. I had plans and I just threw them out the window. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need to buy a ship. You should probably undo one of your shares. Yeah, I don't, I don't want shares. I want a ship. Um, luckily, giving you. No, you, you, can, you can still buy a share. You just need to leave yourself four oh. pounds okay. so that you can buy one of these ships. And honestly, it's probably good to put more money into the company if you want it to float. Now, uh, Lily okay. might want to tank the company. Um, in fact, John I'm definitely wants the company chaos. to tank. Well, okay, so here's the problem. Uh, if the company can't meet its obligations, we're going to get bailed out. 
Yes. Uh, which means all executive positions will be forced to retire and the retirement costs will be uh, plus two pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone in the court of directors with more than one share will get uh, wiped down to t- one share. So like all of us will only have one share mm. left. And then if you only have one share in the court of directors, as John currently does, then you lose that share entirely. Uh, so if we get bailed out, then like all of these cubes are going to be gone, except for three. Mine, I'll have one, Garrick will have one, and Lily will have one. Actually, someone's getting elected to chairmanship, so it'll, there will be two <laughs> cubes in the court of directors. Um, so we should probably... We should probably elect a chairman who's not going to tank the company, i.e. not Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I've been constantly saying all week that I wanted to drive the company into bankruptcy doesn't mean I will. Clearly, we need to vote Billy. <laughs> did, you, did you place your cubes, Garrick? I have not yet. Yeah. I was starting to talk my way through the game yeah. state, and then Drew like started talking over me and explained one part of the game state, and then I was about to pick it back up. <laughs> Uh, well, that's the game state. What else do you need to know? <laughs> well, the yeah, ship's just, purchasing just office is closed. Uh, yes, we cannot buy ships except by Lily's one captain. Yes. Uh, and also, I want money. So, it seems like captains are not a terrible idea. Well, placing captains are going to be stuck in this right. box until the end of this round, and then right, during the true. refresh phase, they get put in here. So you're not going to be able to buy any ships until next turn at the earliest. Because my problem is my goods are worth like zero dollars right now, aren't they? Uh, your goods or, are not, not even. They, they can't even be purchased. Right, that's what it is. You cannot purchase them. Yes. I thought we got rid of this one. No, we voted it down. No, I, I, we we tried, terrible. but yeah, oh. I'm pretty sure you voted against us, John. Probably. Yeah, you did. You're dead. Okay, good. That was good sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay now that it's according to the plan. He just had to remember right. it was the plan. I just forgot it whose plan it was, so. <laughs> um I don't know. Can should... I just go? Can I just go? No, I'm talking. So <laughs> <laughs> on the one hand, I want to inject money into the company so that it doesn't just tank. On the other hand, if I don't inject it enough, it's going to just tank, and then I, my money's going to be wasted, and I will get nothing out of it. And I'm really still We're not still getting much out of it. That too. Um, I mean, you put enough money into the company, and you can control who becomes the chairman, and then you can uh, make sure that the company doesn't fail. So. Yeah, but I'm oh, not if making you money put that much in. <laughs> I'm not in a position to make money off the company right now, is the issue. Hmm. Hmm. Chairman gets elected from the shares, and then executives get elected from silvers, right? Uh, Whatever these are. Yes, the chairman will get elected from the court of directors, and then the chairman will fill this position and this position uh, from any of senior positions. So basically, these two cubes are the only eligible. The yeah. senior positions get filled by the writers, though, right? Yes. Uh, yes, and then senior positions get filled by writers. Um, and so, like, Lily and Garrick are going to be the director of trade and the Madras president because they are the only senior positions yep. uh, available to promote into. Uh, and then whoever is the director of trade is going to fill these two offices plus the governorship over here. Maybe I should buy shares. Um, they're three dollars. I mean, you do right have now? your you do have your two bonus votes. So, like, you dump two shares in there. That's a good amount of money for the company. And then I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and a majority would be five votes <laughs> yeah you you could just decide who becomes the next chairman <laughs> i don't know maybe it's terrible so, but i think like, i'm gonna go that ahead is, and... that is oh. an interesting thing that you could do for sure i'm gonna go ahead and buy two shares it's probably a terrible idea but yeah.
All right, goodbye, money. Does that increase the revenue by three each? Yes, so it goes up to nine. Um, John. He went. Oh, you did officers. Smart. Um, okay, cool. So now we are on to the company phase. Uh, and we fill vacancies. So first, the chairmanship uh, is up for election. The previous chairman, i.e. Lily, is the first to nominate. So Lily, who would you like to nominate? And or does anyone have any offers? Um, I feel like does I probably want to be... Does anyone have any offers? I feel like I want to be chairman because it's good. At the same time, I don't know how to play mm -hmm. the game. So I think Drew should be chairman. <laughs> <laughs> now you want me to be down. chairman We've been no, down no, no, hurt him no, He's never going to be good at this You've got to do it, Jim <laughs> we're, in, we're learning, so you need to learn How to be chairman Exactly Real quick, John, is this a real promise cube I have from you? I can't remember if this was something we actually had Or if you just gave it to me as a joke a second ago and, and... No, I, I gave it to you for real For okay. starting the stream late That's all <laughs> I was, I was not, I do not make jokes about promise cubes. Promise cubes are very serious. Okay, okay, just making sure. Don't, uh, <laughs> I don't get flippant about promise cubes. I'm pretty sure that was already there from last turn. Okay. No, I was, I, I put it there just now. He has that now. No, oh, all right, well, there you go. Now I own him. Uh, uh, nah, um, no, I own you. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, okay, well, um, that was a mistake. <laughs> That's John why I forgot how promise cubes work in the intervening weeks since we last played this. Would you I like to think lock giving promise cubes out binds people to you instead of the other way around? Uh, Would you like to take it back since it's <laughs> no. no. This game's I'm turning this game into a meme. It's it already uh -huh. was a meme. No, okay. this is super serious, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. What I'll are stop we doing? Laughing. We're filling filling things. Let's Let's fill some vacancies. Let's, yeah, uh, Lily, let's who are you voting for? I well, who are you Garrick. nominating? Okay, uh, Garrick is nominated. Lily, uh, who do you vote for? I'll vote for him, yeah. All right. Um, let's see. I, I mean, mean Garrick, do you want to be? I guess I, I guess I guess my votes don't matter because you can. Well, but you only get your power once. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm I don't really care, so I'm open to whatever you want me to do. I mean, I guess I want to be chairman because it's good. Great. I'll vote for you. Just remember me in the future. <laughs> so that's I, four votes for Garrick. How could I forget uh, you, Drew? I I, I know. <laughs> Garrick, you're up to vote. Do you vote is for he yourself? Gonna have to, is he going to have to pay the nepotism? because uh only you only pay nepotism to cubes that you pass over for promotion so as long as he promotes lily first then there will be oh. no eligible promotes and then his Ooh. guy will get promoted uh without the penalty oh ew. so i have to make lily director of trade if i don't want to pay nepotism well yeah your choice is lily is director of trade and you're madras president or if you really want to be director of trade then you just pay lily the nepotism penalty and one cube for nepotism is actually fairly cheap. Yeah, that, um, that especially might be since you're gonna get it back immediately by promoting her later. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess in this case there is no nepotism penalty technically because you'll pay the cube and then you'll promote you'll pay the cube to Lily and then you'll promote her and immediately get it back because you promoted her. I guess that's oh. true. Well, no, don't have to promote uh, her over actually, another. Wait, no, yeah, I think you. I, I actually I think you do have to promote. You have to show hiring preference. Exactly. To get a cube. Yeah, you you would get a stuck cube, but that's okay. Uh, the the cubes are part of the economy of the game. Don't don't feel afraid to give them out. Yeah, who said I was afraid? So, I was just um, talking through what was going to happen. Did we did we vote? Uh, Garrick, are you <laughs> voting against yourself or for yourself? I'll vote for myself, and I'll throw my All full right, weight behind it. You are the chairman. Uh, you immediately need to allocate these nine pounds of revenue. Before I even the uh, of the company. before I hire or anything. Yep. Um, put them into the goods because we don't have goods. 
Yeah, it is worth noting, I suppose, <laughs> that this office has to buy the neutrals and then same with military fares for guns. So like they both could use two more pounds uh, for an even six so that they could buy the threes. I like that. Why do they have to buy neutral? One, two, three, four. Yeah, because the the cost up here is an X, which means the family uh, the family factories are banned from selling to the company. There was okay. some uh, some legislation passed briefly in the House of Commons. There's a there's a trade freeze on our our factories, sadly. All right, so let's talk through where I need to allocate money for the uh, presidencies to be effective. Well, if you want the company to survive, <clears throat> then we want to fill as many orders in Bombay and Hyderabad as possible because they're the two prosperous regions. Right. Um, unfortunately, there are only two boats <laughs> in those two presidencies. Um, but so, let's see. We'll get one more boat. Well, no, so all Bengal needs is one more boat or one good, and it can at least fill Hyderabad. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. The, um, yeah, Bombay has spices covered. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, this is going to be rough. That's the best return on investment for many of those anyway, though, so. No, the is. Hyderabad is the best return on it. No, I mean yeah. uh, within Bombay, I'm saying the two at least is like. Oh yes, yes, the two. I'm just saying you can't get the two and the three. No, yeah, because we're we're gonna get one ship and two goods. Yep. Uh, and unless you put more money into goods. Oh, that is true. I guess you could dump three more into goods, and then we would have one ship and three goods, which would be enough to fill exactly all three of these orders and the two and the three. Hmm. God, this would be a lot more compelling if we were buying my goods. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I am trying not to take the company since I've now invested in it. Yeah, I was going to say you're highly incentivized to make lots of money because if you issue a dividend, you're getting the most. You'll be getting three pounds per dividend. So basically, I pump three more dollars into goods purchasing or military affairs. Yeah, that, I mean, that, either that, of would be, that would be optimal for the mm -hmm. company, yeah. Not military so affairs because we can't send military affairs anywhere. Yeah, we can. Uh, the military affairs also can buy guns. It just has to come from the neutrals. No, I'm saying we can't use that to ship to the India. Oh, we can't well, like fulfill orders. You can with use those. it to plunder India. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair. That's fair. All right, that's three more. We're at two. Uh, so I guess I should just dump, what, should I do $1 in each presidency or should I do $2 in one of them? Um, well, remember that my family ability is I get right. an extra blue die. So, um, you, you might still want to stick one in there cause that's only rolling. Well, no, four dice is fairly safe. Um, th th this guy, this, this presidency will sail for four dice. Yeah. Uh, so this presidency I just uh, pumped it up by two. Uh, actually, there's no there's no penalty in here either, so that's actually six dice for that presidency. So I, I guess five and five is fine. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. You could also Maybe give money to the governorship of Bombay so that they could go campaigning, I suppose. Is that worth it? Although they don't have anything to campaign with. Yeah, that's what I thought. You I mean, it depends on people. it depends on what you're gonna do. if you're gonna give yourself director of trade. Uh, uh, oh no, it's military affairs, so it assign the comp the guns. Also, remember you have the debt action, and you can take that at any time, so you can kind of see. Oh right, where so I should all this. Yeah. Well, no, I I would you, normally when I'm president, I take the debt action after I see where the money flow is. Yeah, unless yeah. I want to take debt to like buy more ships or goods. Once you see where like military affairs and director of trade send stuff, then you can kind of. Oh uh, uh, yeah, put debt in the right places. I'll pump them each up by one, and then we can do debt later. Okay, cool. Uh, so now you are up to fill the director of trade. All either right, yourself or Lily. I do want to uh, pick myself, so Lily will get a promise cube. Okay. Uh, then you. I get. 
I guess well, I no, no. always am yeah. not yet. Yeah, not, yet. not yet. Not yet. I'm chilling. Uh, Garrick, next, you need to fill the governorship of Bombay, uh, and you can pick officers. So I guess I have one officer or writers. All right, people. I didn't Who wants pick it? Officers. Um, I will give you one of John's promise cubes or one of my promise cubes uh, <laughs> to pick me. Um. I'll take one of your prompts cubes, Drew. Okay, here you go. Do you want it as a writer or the officer? Oh, uh, let's do the writer. Okay. All right, now I feel Lily. Uh, and then now Lily is, yep, yep, exactly. Uh, and then the director of trade, who is also still you, is filling goods purchasing and military. <laughs> so. All right, bribe me, people. <laughs> Well, you have to give one of them to me. Yeah. I mean, both of these are kind of useless offices because you can't yeah. direct funds in a way that helps pays anyone right now. Factories. I guess you could decide where the troops go. I don't know. That's I'm going to make John know. goods purchasing. Uh, who gets to be military okay, affairs? Please. Let's make it true. All right, that is all of the offices full so far. Yep, cool. Uh, so now we run through the offices. So we skip ships purchasing and we go to goods. Oh, um, wait, wait, wait. Do I get my promise cube from John back? Because I just promoted him over someone else for greatest purchasing. Uh, uh, yes, you do. Yeah. Yep, good catch. <clears throat> um, good stuff. Uh, do you have, do I have any of yours? I do not have any of yours. Um, because you also would have gotten mine because John still has a cube in the box. Yeah. Uh, okay. So John is up, but he doesn't have any decisions. He has to buy maximum, and he can't buy uh any of these. So that's nine, and we're done. Uh, military affairs is the same deal. Two guns are purchased for six. Sorry to remove. Oh, that's me. Sorry to remove agency from myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry to remove your agency John I could have just trying that. to speed this along for all of our uh, long suffering watchers oh, four. okay <laughs> now I do have to decide where to send this stuff um, John and Lily do you care where your officers go um, no. I'm going to be honest with you I don't really understand the whole like this whole thing up here, I don't understand any of it, so I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good. Good. it's right. very clear, but yeah. Um, I will put money. these guys up here. Um, I think. Let's see. Oh wow, Dad's um, on can, can I rearrange? The Worthy Wednesday name is working. <laughs> uh, imagine if there wasn't a day of the week that started with W. What would we do? <laughs> um, uh, we'd be out of luck. Like, what if it was Krenz Day instead of Wednesday? <laughs> then we would do Cole Krenz Day. Cole Krenz Day. <laughs> <laughs> you picked, um, of all the letters in the alphabet, you picked the one that still works. Oh, you don't think I did that on purpose? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Maybe you do. You don't think, you don't think I'm a spider and I just, I just weave that web so perfectly to catch the flies of your... Tiny little minds, and there you are in the web going, ah, oh, Cole Krenz days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Please <let's>, continue. <laughs> I think I actually want to send the guns over here. Uh, oh, man. Uh, uh, Lily, as the president of Madras... Would you be willing yes. to transfer one of these guns? No. Because <laughs> here's the problem. Uh, 
The elephant's at six. <laughs> These two regions. Uh, well, it's going to go to seven and then eight and then swing back around to one. But um, yes, it also it will it it can. There are situations where it can teleport uh, and. It would if it teleported, where would it go? Two, one. If it teleported, it would go to Punjab, and then if it teleported again, it would go to Hyderabad. So Hyderabad's a little bit vulnerable. But um, Hyderabad has a defensive five, yeah? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, you're right. They're, they can defend themselves. So actually, <laughs> uh, Bombay is the scary <laughs> one. So, uh -huh. okay, so I, the only reason I'm saying this is uh, we are responsible for the defense of Bombay if anyone tries to conquer Bombay, for example. So, like, if uh, it gets yeah. to Hyderabad and they roll this three, like, we have to defend them with guns and the treasury from the presidency. Uh, basically, the guns in this presidency are the least useful. But if you want to keep them there, then that's be my too guest. bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, well, that's it for uh, military affairs. So we are on to Garrick with the uh, director of trade. First, you have to offer Lily the opportunity to buy a ship. Uh, Lily, Lily, do you want to buy a ship? Do you want to buy a ship? <laughs> I do want to buy a ship. Which ship do you want to buy? I want to buy. Um, I want to buy this ship. OK. So you get a pound, and I get a pound. I definitely thought I was going to get to choose the ship because I, I was the person there. Yeah, sorry. It's OK. No big that deal. That is never true, but I can see why you would think that. I knew um, I should have never gone in have these. You do, there. however, have to. You'd get to decide where. <laughs> goes. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Why did we last round? I remember us doing it. I just don't remember why. What did we do last round? We lost. There was. We had another ship in in the left one, and uh, had we had five disappeared. We had. Yeah, we had five ships over here, or maybe four ships over here. And okay. uh, the... What happened? Oh, Bengal flipped from Prosperous to uh, Depressed. And whenever that happens, trade is disrupted. Uh, there are many ways that trade can get disrupted. Um, conquest, anytime a region closes, like it gets pulled out of the presidency, um, whatever. Trade disruption okay. is... Uh, any orders that were filled uh, get removed, and then you have to destroy that many ships. So we had an order on Indigo, or maybe it was Silk. I forget. <clears throat> um, yeah. We either had to destroy two or three ships because of the, the number of the order that was outstanding. Which is why okay. the company is doing curious. so shitty. We, we had plenty of ships and plenty of revenue before, and now we're uh, on the edge. <laughs> Well, my, my fearless leadership is going to steer us to uh, success. Boat puns. I nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Uh, okay. So that's that. Uh, Garrick, you are up for the Bombay presidency. And also now you probably could take debt. Yeah. Uh, um... Realistically, everyone has what they need to sail. Uh, um, we could go a conquesting here, I suppose, or here. Either of these two offices can go conquesting. Actually, so could Bengal, but uh, the the target in Bengal is Bengal, which means we'd have to beat a defensive five. So that's not happening. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, in fact, I don't know why I put officers over there, but whatever. <laughs> Um, you're trying to, trying to. You're trying to take us. guns away from me. That's what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was trying to take guns away from you to defend Garrick's presidency yep. from getting assaulted. Um, but you know what? Well, I'm uh, never. I, on I know. Side. I know. I know who's never. where Lily's interests lie. <laughs> it's not the best interests of this company. Nope, it's the interests of my country. Damn it. <laughs> Well, here's a question. Can we get anything out of campaigning in uh, Bombay or Madras? Uh, so 
campaigning in uh, Madras would uh, open a new governorship here, mm -hmm. um, which would then allow that governor potentially to invest in Madras, which would flip it uh, back over. And then, you know, these orders are significantly better. Yeah. So that's one option. Um, the other option would be to campaign to have uh, so this office can't campaign because the only campaign target is Bombay and Bombay is already conquered. Mm -hmm. uh, but the governor of Bombay can campaign and target Punjab, Mysore, or Sindh, uh, one of which is a solid region. Yeah, Mysore has got some good orders on it. Um, so if we succeeded, then this would come over here. Uh, we would open a new office. Um, it's probably just a residency, but um, yeah. So there's there's governorships and residencies. Residencies can only invest. Governorships can campaign. Gotcha. Um, uh, but anyway, so so that would open the Mysore residency. There would be a lot more uh, options for sailing cheaply, uh, and it would open a new office for, I guess, theoretically, you to fill. Um, e either option is good. So it's just up to. All right, Drew. Uh, uh, that's up to you. Let's put some money into Governor of Bombay then. Um, let's take a debt. Uh, the mm -hmm. other problem there is they have a defense of three. We could spend two guns, so we would need uh, we would need a lot of money. Well, we'd be getting what five dollars. Um, well, realistically, we want to roll like three. Uh, um which means, and two is getting spent. Oh no, I, I roll an extra die. Look at me. I'm oh awesome. yeah, look at you. Go Hastings. Okay, so the army and my extra die cancels out defense, so it's just straight money. So really, like, we wouldn't... Uh, three dice is a little bit of a risk. It's 70% chance of success. That's pretty good. I mean, it's better uh, than half. So yeah, you, the max you could put in would be... Uh, three. You could stick four four uh, pounds in here to get uh, three dice. That sounds good to me. So let's well, take... The, hmm. But the other option would be to have Lily campaign, assuming she's willing to, I guess, since she's an agent of chaos, apparently, who wants to destroy everything. <laughs> um, the benefit of Lily campaigning is there are three dice in this army, and the defense is only one, so it's significantly cheaper. Um, but I don't know. It's up I to you to weigh those campaign. as the chairman. I mean... Uh, I will say, I don't really get any benefit out of campaigning as this office, uh, I don't think. Um, so I would need to be compensated for the risk of getting this guy <laughs> fired. <laughs> um... It would have. To, it would. It could be small. You could pay me like a dollar or something. I mean, I have literally, literally one dollar right now. Like an American dollar, not not even a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do have a pound. Um, I didn't know this game allowed for uh, currency trans translations. Uh, no, Garrick just has to give me a dollar in real life. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'll do it next time I see you. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Let me book a plane ticket. <laughs> I'm coming for my dollar, dollar. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't seem to particularly want to campaign. Uh, Lily, if I give you five bucks, what are you going to do with it? That's too much money, man. I need like two dollars, and then I've got four dice for campaigning and four dice for sailing, and because I only can fulfill one order, so like that three dollars could way better spent somewhere else. I'm perfectly happy to campaign for you, Garrick. I just need one pound. I am not willing to give over a dollar. I only have one. You've got nine dollars. Um, okay, well, I would I would take a promise cube, but I feel like that's worth more than a dollar. Well, yeah, I don't want to do that either. When I'm saying I'm not willing to pay you uh, the thing you're um, saying, I'm not about to pay more. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to pay a dollar? How about five dollars? That's well, a bargain. <laughs> I mean, technically, promise cubes are worth two pounds, but they're also a lot easier to get back by just promoting. And you have a lot of positions that promote. So, like, in theory, I could see you potentially valuing a promise cube less at this stage of the game. But I don't know. 
If it was before he was promoting stuff, I could understand, but not after. Not when he's at risk of losing stuff. I mean, I also... I, I, I am leaning towards just not taking debt right now. Do it. Uh, Don't take debt. Uh, I guess you could, but I feel like it pretty much always worth taking debt. <laughs> I, I I think so too, but nobody's making a very compelling argument. I'm, I'm telling I you, I will you do exactly I what you I want. I only need two dollars. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, oh man, you can't even make this offer because he might not even be the president next round. But I guess between you being the chairman, so you could hire a new president. No, you can't. You don't have any of your own cubes to promote. Oh, and same for me. I don't have. <clears throat> huh. I don't know. I, I was going to say I would do it if you promised to make me the the give me this position, but I don't have any cubes to yeah, um, to you don't. into that position. So I guess I could I guess I could put writers in the box next round. That just kind of restricts my options a little bit, which is Oh no wait. Yeah no this is a senior you can't promote seniors to senior. It'd have to come from the writers. Um honestly probably Madras is uh fine it's cheaper it's probably better for the company if you do madras because then you have extra money left over to put somewhere else all right well, no it's not because yeah. can we just yeah, honestly wish you bought a third good what no we you can't the take debt and pay the shareholders you got to do dividends to pay shareholders debt goes into the office treasuries you're totally right though lily we we should have bought another good because then I could have sailed to Madras and fulfilled both orders. Like yeah. it would have made way more sense, but it's too late because you guys were like, "I'm gonna wait till after the company phase." Well, Drew was like, "It's better," <laughs> and now I'm like, "No, I totally think it was better to have done it earlier." See, this is why we don't want Drew as chairman. <laughs> it's okay. This is why he's just vizier now. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll take debt and uh, be unhappy about it. But I just drop a cube here. Yeah, that's the traditional way. Okay. Uh, Lily, you need $2? Yeah, because that'll give me four dice for both things that I want to do. $2 for you. Right? Uh, um, I mean... Because I'll have three from the, given, the guns. Given Lily's... Given Lily's dice rolling history, I am terrible at a lot of dice. This is you accurate. might want to put some more in Madras. <laughs> You're not wrong. I am quite terrible with dice. Um, the the and fact this that the company is doing this poorly so is probably is... going to do badly again. <laughs> I think I carry bad luck um, with me right now. So one more, Garrick. I don't really know what to do with it. I guess you could put it in Bombay and set up for a future campaign there. Uh, it was between that or just like dropping a dollar into goods purchasing for the future or something yeah i mean there's like not a whole lot that is gonna get used immediately because all of the presidencies have kind of what they need so yeah you're kind of investing in next rounds yeah basically let's do that okay goods probably makes the most sense because uh you have exactly a lot of factories and exactly. unless we unless we vote whatever the new law card is then it probably won't have an x again i guess it could that would be sad for you that's basically what i'm hoping <laughs> that it, it doesn't <laughs> yep uh okay it is time for the bombay residency okay uh pretty sure i am just sailing yep all right that would be schmuck None of these guns have been exhausted. I mean, oh, I see the arrows next to it. Got it. I didn't see the oh, arrow. Wait, maybe, maybe that is supposed to be the exhausted box. It looks I like it. confused by the arrow. The, the, the arrow makes it look like you're supposed to push it up when you're, it's exactly. exhausted, but the box... It looks does like kind of makes more sense to whatever. We can do whatever we want. It's whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm distracting you. Sorry. Yes. Um... <laughs> Okay, that so 
so sailing 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 it's been a week uh oh uh so you have no penalty penalty. you have no penalty because there's only one region and the penalty for sale is number of regions minus one um so you just spend money equal to the amount of dice you want to roll so like in theory you could spend five to roll five dice uh you succeed on a one or a two you fail on a three or four and you fail catastrophically on a five or six all right let's roll five dice the lowest die amongst the bunch yeah let's roll five dice thank you there you go there you go there we go (laughs) wow this is why you buy five dice (laughs) yep (laughs) All right. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. It's all exhausted. Yep. And there then we go. These two, I assume, right? Yeah. Dollars. Yep. All right. So company 16. revenue goes to there we sixteen. Go. That's what I'm talking about. Better days ahead. Uh, yep. Now, one dollar because on of that. <laughs> my governorship, uh, I am not going to do anything. Um, so we are on to Lily in the presidency of Madras. So I was told to campaign, so I'm going to campaign. Okay, your target is Madras. The defense is one, uh, and you have an officer and two guns that uh, you got to exhaust the guns if you want to use them, or you could use the money or some combination. I'm probably going to exhaust. The guns don't go away if I exhaust them, right? No, the guns are permanent. There is literally no way to get rid of any military investment. Uh, it is just Perfect. a drain on the company treasury forever. <laughs> um, but if I need to defend it, then that might be problematic. Okay, we'll yes. figure it out. It'll be fun. We're... Okay, uh, so it's three dice. And then if I spend $2, I get another one. Another uh, die. Well, so you have three dice here, minus yep. one. So there's two minus dice. One. This is- so now so you three, spent two dollars. Okay, yeah. Now go to have, four dice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's 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 uh, let's not catastrophically fail. I'm ready for it though. Hey, hey! I didn't mm. catastrophically fail. Where are you, Governor of Madras? There you go. Okay, so we now have a new office. Thank you. Did you no? And then um, I'm going to go ahead and sail and spend the remaining of my money for that. So, Drew, you, you have an before, officer. Right? You have an officer there, Drew. Don't. How do oh, you yes, get paid as right. the officer? Uh, so, we've succeeded. Uh, so, I get money equal to the plunder number. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, my God, Gigi. Got Sorry, she's being super fucking needy right now. She's always uh, needy. She's normally she's needy to me. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so I'm going to sail. So, yep, sail. Um, so this has one region, so there's no penalty. So you just pay four for four dice. That's... Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. It's cocked dice. You got to re-roll them all. You got to re-roll them all. It's cocked. <laughs> uh, hover in Does that GTS mean I get is fired? six, so it's a six. No, your lowest was a four, which means okay, you just cool. failed normally. Um, but wow. Not miserably. Wow. <laughs> Lily. Should have got myself more dice. I'm so Lord. good at this, guys. This is why you don't have me in anything luck-based ever. Um, <laughs> this is why she exclusively plays 18xx. <laughs> He's not wrong. That's that's why I love this game. You don't you don't have control over this game. Uh, Although just, to be fair, you just gotta take opportunities where you get them. Okay, I do so thoroughly enjoy biogenesis, which is only luck. It, it oh, is yeah, that's, almost entirely that's luck. Weird. Okay, I'm spending all five. Uh, I have a penalty of one because I have two regions, mm-hmm. but my family ability gives me an extra die, so my five gives me five dice. So I'm rolling them. And, oh shit! Okay, Ooh. we've. Oh, that would have been really, really terrible. Uh, but the company successfully makes some money. 
Do the captains uh, get um, anything when they sail? Nope. Well, the captains are going to get two. Uh, the, every captain gets oh, two pounds like during the trade phase after we do all the offices. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, so that is another 15 in revenue for the company. So we're at 31, which is reasonably healthy, um, surprisingly. Uh, superintendent of trade in China is closed, so we are into the trade phase. Um, so first, players take money for tax. Uh, presidential bonus, interlopers, and prizes and or family powers. Um, tax is uh, me. I have uh, the governorship of Bombay taxes for two, and I'm going to siphon both of those two into my personal treasury because this redheaded cousin is an asshole. Yep. Uh, but I appreciate him. That's why he's there. Nobody else has any governorships to tax, so that's tax. Uh, presidential bonuses. Garrick uh, filled two orders, so Garrick gets two pounds. Woot woot. Uh, Lily really did not fill any, unfortunately. <laughs> and then I filled three orders, so I get three pounds. It was already better than last game. Last game I was fired by this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, interlopers. Uh, Lily has <laughs> a ship with a captain. They're called interlopers, so Lily gets two uh, pounds. John has an interloper for two pounds, and I have one for two pounds. Why am I so poor? Um, I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, that that is a good question, John. You need to go like, on and examine your life. You told me being an officer would be lud ludicrous. No, lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if I'm hey, if I'm still military affairs, I will happily put you somewhere um, where well, why you didn't go you, plundering. Uh, why didn't you? Why didn't you campaign over here? Uh, I seriously considered it. Uh, I, I would have happily campaigned in exchange for a small bribe, but uh, the defense of Hyderabad is uh, five. Or I, I can only target Bengal, and Bengal is dominated by Hyderabad, which means Hyderabad defends them. So both of these defense values are added, and it would have been five. Um, really, I should have put these guys over here and asked you to yeah. pay me not to strand them in some backwater. My, my bad. Uh, okay, so that's interlopers, and then uh, family powers. John, you have a family power that gives you money, right? Uh, no. It is well, too, as well. I don't oh, know. you need you need two writers. Okay, and then Lily uh, for every two ships with captains, so there's three. So you, Lily gets another pound. Okay, so that is all of the player income during trade, and now we do company upkeep. This is so clearly company... my family powers. Why I want to shut down the shipyard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that actually is a good point. Uh, <laughs> that was a good play on your part, actually. It hasn't borne out because so many of our ships have gotten destroyed already. But yeah. one more of the ships to survive. We got two dollars. Okay, so the company pays debt. So three, one, two, three. Uh, military upkeep, which is now one, two, three, four, five. Oh dear God. Six, seven. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> So we're at 21. Why do we pay for the military? Uh, and you put then, money in the military. Yeah, I regret it now. Angry, and then angry shareholders. So a dividend must be paid. Uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes in here. So we are down to 13 in revenue. Uh, Garrick gets three. Uh, John gets one. Billy gets two. And I get two. Um, oh god, I'm stupidly rich and have zero retirement opportunities. <laughs> well, I guess I guess I could roll a six on either of those. And this guy's been sitting there for a while. Yeah, you got okay. opportunities. Uh, I, I what I meant to say is I'm stupidly rich and watch me not roll any retirements. Yeah, because I guarantee that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I hope, hope you don't. <laughs> uh. And that's another reason why I love this game. It looks like I'm doing super well because I have an insane amount of money. But sometimes the company is a fickle beast. And sometimes your your money just sits in your treasury uselessly. <laughs> uh, it's not all about the money. It's all about who has the money at the right time and in the right places. Um, OK, anyway. So we were forced to pay a dividend. So we did. And now Garrick, as the chairman, is up to decide what to do with the rest of the money. Wouldn't that be phase three? 
Yeah, right. Sorry, that's phase three. Um, hmm. So I definitely oh shouldn't. Oh, God. No one put any captains in the captain's box, so we're going to have no more ships next turn. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to put captains, but I also wanted to <clears throat> inject money into the company so we didn't go under. <laughs> You you did the right thing with those shares, I think. I wasn't going to be able to buy it. Like, I wasn't going to be able to afford a ship, so it didn't make any sense for me to go. No, I, I, was I get it. To, I... I was hoping to make some money this round, and that didn't pan out in any way. Uh, you made some money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I think you made the right call. Uh, because you have an insane amount of opportunities for retirement. Like, this is really good. Uh, and you have a decent stash of money to, to capitalize on it, and you're going to get a little bit more after attrition. Yeah, um, not much. Well, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, you're right. It's only going to be one. I only one cube in there. Um, uh, I mean, I have a shit ton of money, and, uh, you know, I'd happily pay for a wedding if it comes to that, so... We'll talk about it. Uh, there's <laughs> options. There's options. You, you set yourself up well... <laughs> Uh, really well, in fact, to like get uh, retirement opportunities, and now you just need to figure out the money part. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, you also need to figure out how to not let the company get bailed out next round. Yes. Um, so one thing that I've seen people do that is really hilarious uh, is you could just pay another dividend. I'm really to get tempted to do that. To here, I'm really tempted then, to do that, and then hope you retire before two turns from now. <laughs> it's. It's very tempting. Uh, so that, that is an option. Uh, and then suddenly becoming the chairman is really bad, actually, uh, for whoever gets uh, voted into that unfortunate <laughs> job. Um, he keeps it. The other thing you could do is, like, the company is on the edge of being profitable for another turn or two. Uh, like, we need a little bit of good luck. The evening post needs to be two or one and not another X. Yeah. Because um, we're, we're basically reliant on goods to fill orders. Um, we're going to have two more military expenses come in, um, but also Lily not failing next time her uh, sale role will help offset that. So, like, realistically, the company can... I wouldn't count on that, though. <laughs> I wouldn't fair. count on it. Um, but anyway, so, like, th in theory, you could allocate, uh, like, three to each of these offices and another to goods purchasing and then rely on debt next turn to get another five into... Uh, like another two, one or two each into these guys, and then just hope for good rolls. Um, that would that would be the the strategy if you're trying to. Save <clears throat> I think. Hmm. I mean, I'm I'm not exactly good at this game, so. <laughs> no, I was thinking pretty much the I same thing. It. That I was seeing okay. the same thing, so that at least cool. validates my perception of the game state. So really, you're taking, both wrong. you're taking this way too seriously. I, it's called making decisions, John. Well, I guess my my approach. It's the first time I've played this game, so the first time I'm a little bit aloof about it. Then the second time, yeah, know, then you're in. Then, then I'm into it. Then I'm into John's, the lore. John's just so long for the ride right now, trying to figure out what the hell all these levers do, which I totally get. I mean, it's the best to ever, it's uh, the best he's ever played at this game. So <laughs> yep. <Pretty> good. Uh, <laughs> this, this game is definitely a wild ride. Your first time. I just, I don't, I don't have any of the control in the company. And so I'm trying to figure yeah, out how to make that, money without any control. That is true. You do need to, uh, you need to get, into a good position really really you want to hope someone retires from up here and then pitch hard to get promoted into well, one of the presidencies because and you've set yourself up for it like you have a guy in here now um pe so I, I will say people often overlook putting writers in the writer's box but like that's literally the only way to get offices and if you don't have any writers you're in a bad spot because yeah. if a bunch of people retire and you can't like no one is eligible to be promoted then like you're just that's how you get locked out of the company and lots of people get excited by all the, the fancy, exciting shit. So, uh, it is worth noting, John, you are winning currently. 
Sure. Okay, we're going to play that game now. No, right. it's, no. You, I mean, it's entirely. <laughs> put it. What about, put it this way. What about the lizards uh, at twenty six? What's going on? <laughs> no, you put it this way. I I have seen games with John Company where, uh, like, we have three rounds left, right? I've seen games with John Company where nobody retired for three rounds, and if that happens, uh, you would win. I, I guess I could try and keep up by just buying manners every turn, which is the one outlet for my big pile of cash if I can't get a retirement. Um, but I'm I'm blocks you out like a couple of points yeah. behind you, and it dumps cubes into manners. So, it, like I can't use those cubes elsewhere. But yeah, anyway, currently you do have the most points, and it is possible that the game uh, <laughs> deals you a hand where you can win with the amount of points that you have right now. <laughs> All right, so I think my decision is I want to be good to the company because that still makes my shares worth it, whereas the other one's basically gambling. Uh, that I retire, you know? Yeah, you're gambling that you retire, and you do just kind of sacrifice these two shares, which yeah. is unfortunate. So I think I keep the company going. So let's dump some money into goods purchasing. Uh, uh, you want a multiple of two. Yeah. Uh, the the only options are X, one, and two. Okay. Um, so some multiple of two will allow you to buy an even amount of things from... So at the very companies. least, I want to put three dollars into it. Yep. Because then that way, uh, my two at minimum could be purchased. Um, get ten more bucks. I don't like military affairs at all. They don't get money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, John, your your two officers are going to get put into military affairs, and they're going to have to get sent somewhere. Uh, and that will make you a lot of money if they get some sent somewhere that goes campaigning. Um, so, uh, yeah, the you'll you'll make money next turn, probably hand over fist because the yeah, company's fool me money. twice, shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should have you should have bribed me not to send you there. I was not really paying attention. I, I was trying to defend I, this I location. Don't, I don't know that I don't want to be there. Like. I'm not like I said. I, these this whole thing up here just is a yeah. Slew it's still of it's still opaque. And, I get that. Yeah. yeah. It it is a very opaque area. But I'm not. You know, it's a learning experience. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. I will accept suggestions for the final four dollars. Uh, well, Bombay and Bengal are really the only choices. <clears throat> uh, I mean, two. I remember that. Remember that someone's gonna take debt. If it's if you're not chairman, then the chairman someone will take debt. Yeah, take no. Debt. Um, but so, you, in case they decide to go crazy, you should definitely lock down Bengal first because it uh, actually these are tied for the I mean, cre creativity, but this one's harder to fill. Yeah, so, like, but probably, this one's owned by me, so I want to do this one. Uh, that is a good point. You should probably be a little bit self interested. So, yeah, I, I would definitely do Bengal and then any like odd numbers in, uh, or I'm sorry, I would do Bombay first and then any odd yeah. extra pounds in Bengal. I guess my question was, should I put anything else? If you put nothing in Madras, I will roll terribly, and it's just going to suck. That's just going to be what happens. Well, as I, we've I seen, put $2 it doesn't in. matter a ton if Madras fails. <laughs> <laughs> like, I put they two in, because I do Madras want you to succeed. Fail, yeah, two. I can't succeed at four, so I don't well, know anymore. We're going to have debt. Oh, so, wait, like, two, uh, two. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, during the tax phase, Madras does generate one tax revenue, and there's nobody in this office to siphon it, so it oh. does stay in the office. So nice. this this office will be able to potentially do stuff as well. Nice, nice. Specifically, invest potentially. We'll see. So um, oh, cool. I guess my question is if I should put anything else into goods purchasing, but it seems like I should probably just mm. dump into presidencies. Uh, assuming we can buy goods, there's enough to at least fill the majority no, of these orders there's not we need one more to fill bombay and bengal adequately uh no oh yeah you're right well it depends on if they cost one or two that's true that's too. also fair uh but right. anyway having goods and then failing to sail them to their targets is also true. uh like <laughs> it's better to sail with less and guarantee it than risk failing basically i'm just gonna be selfish we'll just do it like that <laughs> That's what debt's for. No, you're right. You're right. Um, okay. So that is trade. And we are on to evening post.
So events abroad. Oh, okay. Not next. So the elephant <laughs> moves to the seven. And we roll a die because the balance of India is at equilibrium. equilibrium yeah. Oh my Six. god. Uh, that is collapse in Sindh, which uh, is great because it doesn't affect us at all, but it does move balance for India to chaos. Yeah. Actually, that will affect us a little bit. Exactly. Um, collapse is uh, not relevant at all. Uh, I think it normally just makes it go depressed, uh, but it's already depressed and it disrupts orders. Oh no, it literally just disrupts orders. So anyway, there's no orders on Sin, so nothing happens there okay. other than the balance of India going to depress, which is bad because now the elephant is at Madras. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, it's coming. So... I said it was going to happen. Well, there, there are events where the elephant rolls once. And also the elephant could have gotten teleported. If someone had gone conquering, it would have teleported. Or revolting. I tried. <laughs> okay. Higher number out of these two. Uh, roll a 2-2, two, two, baby. Don't let us down, Drew. Uh, hey, what's a 3? Uh, oh, no. Revolts. Back, right? Damn it. So close. Uh, oh, no, wait. That's a flip. Not, oh, no, that's a revolt. Yeah, yeah. Region okay, becomes sovereign so and it, closed. It revolts uh, with a strength of three. We have one army officer and two pounds, uh, so that's not enough to beat the three. Uh, so yeah, yeah right. that's very. Are the guns exhausted? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yes, the guns are exhausted, unfortunately. Um, so that presidency is gonna close. Sounds good. Sounds good. What, permanently? Um, <clears throat> permanently. Let me remember. Whoa, whoa, permanently? Yes. This is why um, you should give me more money. I told you. <laughs> I did, I did forget about I that possibility. Coming. We probably should have put more money in there. Oh, well. You're trying to get rid of my guns? You're trying to get rid of my people? <laughs> do these, do these army expenditures go away? That's no. what I am. I know everything that happens except for that guy. I think I just lose him, maybe, but I'm uh, looking it up real quick. Clearly, this is all part of my clever plan to decrease our military expenditure by by closing <laughs> our Madras <laughs> presence. <laughs> uh, <sighs> assuming I do not get to retire, because that would be too nice. Uh, yes, yes, I know that. Where are the rules for dissolution of a presidency? Um, great. It does not say like this what game. happens Everything to bad the happens guns. to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you've had you've had all of the bad luck happen in your region that you keep becoming the president of. <laughs> this was not my choice. I didn't want to come back here. <laughs> Um, huh. It does not say. Okay, well, so what happens is uh, Madras becomes sovereign and closed, which means it goes back to the off board uh, over here. Okay. Um, that permanently closes this office, which is not relevant because no one is in it, so we're just going to uh, send it over there. Uh, I locked this for some reason. Uh, <laughs> that also permanently closes this presidency. <laughs> um, cool. I do not know what happens to all of the ships and the officer and the guns, so I'm going to have to figure it out. It does not say under dissolution of presidency section because this rule book is uh, in the time, the, the before times, the bad times. Uh, what is it about uh, the president, the, my cube? Uh, so you are uh, going to be forced to retire. Oh, maybe it, that's right. It's eliminated at the end of attrition, so it's probably in the attrition rules. Uh, um, okay, yeah. So offices with a black disc automatically roll a six and must vacate. Um, you can score a retirement, but you have to pay a penalty of two. So basically... He's an executive. You can pay ex any executive position, but it costs two more than the, the listed price. Um, that. That's... So after removing the office holder, the office is eliminated. 
uh, uh, yeah. eliminated. Oh shit! <laughs> eliminated offices should return all ships, goods, captains, uh. and money to the appropriate stocks. Uh, so everything's gone. <laughs> I was don't don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Okay. Um, uh, was there a captain in there, or was it just three naked no. ships? Okay. Three naked ships. Oh man, I'm so sad, my guy. At least he made me three before he died. Um, that You're does that sad. does reduce. I'm sad. I, I, well, you get a free retirement out of it. Well, a, yeah, but I'm not going to use it. A slightly more expensive retirement. Well, what are you talking about? Anything that costs four, you could go yeah, to the investment bank. You could go to the House of after Commons. After attrition. Uh, dur it's during attrition that this happens. So we we just put the disc okay. there for right now. And oh, okay, I should. Yeah, yeah, put your yeah. put your cube back there. Got it. I thought that was like right now, and if it's before attrition, then that would be bad. That's why we put the black disc out, because it's just a reminder. Uh, in fact, technically, we should switch this so we don't forget your cube. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. But yeah, it isn't. OK. Uh, <laughs> it, it keeps snapping. Like it keeps snapping there. It should work. Why is it not working? It's because Whatever. it's because this wasn't That's flat. Fine. It was leaned up fine, against the. Oh, can, the. Yeah, it's OK. We're not going to worry about it. Um, <laughs> My camera's at an angle. Okay. I can see it. Don't worry about it. So after revolts, so this is where the elephant can teleport. Um, after revolts uh, are successful, the elephant moves to the lowest dominated region. So uh, Bombay is a six. Uh, Bengal is a five. Maratha is a two. So the elephant goes to Maratha. Um, and then we are done with events abroad. Oh, look, we got a one. Yep, that's what oh, I was cheering about earlier. Um, we, have to, we have to not pass this law then. Yes, we can. Whatever the law is, we cannot pass it. I haven't even read it yet, but we can't pass it. <laughs> um, oh, oh tenure limitations yeah. is such a good law. Too. That's so oh, terrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, so first, attrition rolls. Um, we just everyone roll for your own guys in whatever order you want. And remember the results. All right. Uh, we don't have to. We don't. I mean, we can go in order, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, Twenty one anymore. Convenient. So here's my governor. Starting with the chairman. <laughs> nope. And my president. Four. Ah, I should have gambled on ruining the company. Nope. Nope, that's not right. Oh, really? Did you get your chairman retired? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So I rolled a five here. Oh, in military affairs. Uh, seniors retire on sixes, so you're you're All still right. there. Three. Okay. And then my military affairs. Four executives are five. Oof. Uh, okay. It's yeah, good. executives are five, seniors are six, and then the chairman is four or five. Yeah. Or um. Wow. So no retirements, and then the chairman is that what I'm seeing? And the least. And the fourth one. And the least fourth <laughs> chairman. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So that's attrition. Uh. Starting on the ribbon order. So chairman first. Uh. May retire. Uh. I guess I will choose to retire because it's good. Um, Carrick, would you marry me? Do we get attrition? <laughs> oh, after attrition. After attrition. Uh, you wanna, I bought a ring and everything. You wanna, yeah, you want to say that into the mic one more time for stream? Uh, Carrick, <laughs> will you marry me? Aww. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, walk me through exactly how it works. Wait a minute. Um, why, don't you why don't you marry me, Garrick? Why don't you marry me? <laughs> Do I have <laughs> to <instead of> retiring? <laughs> Garrick, uh, Garrick has six. He he might want to just go to the investment bank. I don't know, but but uh, wedding is an option. So the wedding is probably my favorite prize. I'm very happy it got dealt. Um, so when uh, when you spend the seven, uh, you put your cube in, and then you also have to put a cube from another player's stock in there with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and common deals are that the person who gets their cube put in pays for some amount of the cost that you paid to get into the wedding in the first place. All right, I give Drew. you four. <laughs> uh, Drew, what if you front the whole bill? Um, wow, what am I? The, the... <laughs> yeah, you should. You have You're paying the dowry. You have 21 pounds. You're I'm paying the dowry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am willing to pay uh, five. Make it six and you have a deal. Uh, um, well, here's the thing. I can just buy a manor for five and get two points. Yeah, but then you're wasting a family action. 
Um, you're making a compelling case, so sure, I will pay six. <laughs> oh, that's way more than six. You're making married, a big mistake to Garrick. get married to Garrick. Look at the happy and couple. We're gonna, we're gonna. Garrick, put you're making together. a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Six shillings and a cow. That is definitely what I paid. I'll, I'll throw a cow in for good measure. Which one of us is the cow? Uh, let's. Uh, moving on to the local news. <laughs> Wait, Wait, no, no, Lily needs actually... to retire. She needs to retire. Oh man, this sucks. Um. Hey, Lily, we can get married if you pay uh, two dollars. Hey, will you marry me too? <laughs> no, no, marry me. <laughs> um, Actually, this is gonna be this is gonna be a very expensive wedding because Lily has to pay nine to get in I there. I do. Um, I I don't know if I'm interested. Oh or, yeah, you'd have to pay four if you expensive. and I did it, Lily. I can only pay five of it. That's fair. Uh, I also can only pay daughter? five. Because uh, I Why had to pay for my other, other wedding. I'm confused why Drew can only pay five, but okay. I'm only willing to pay five because I need to maintain a multiple of five for my investment yeah. bank income. No, that's kind of where I'm in a rough position because like, I don't want to retire. I want to oh, retire. You don't want to pay more time, than two. I don't want to oh. pay more than two. So I'm like kind of fucked. Well, I'll tell you what, Lily, I will uh, loan you two. I'll loan you, hmm. I'm not going to loan you two for a promise cube. It's going to be more expensive than that. Um, I will loan you three for two promise cubes. No, not about that life. That's, that's like almost par value for a promise cube. It's almost par value, but it's not par value. And I generally like being on the better end of deals. Oh, well, it uh, sounds like you're not going to get a retirement get... then. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll do it. I don't even care. You're, you're, not, you're not only not in the driver's seat, you're in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I accept this. I accept this. Here has in a this. weird turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so do I want to go to the House of Commons or the investment? House of Commons. Ooh, are you going to House of Commons? Mm hmm. Cool. Okie dokie. Now we're at local news. Yep, now we are at local news. And we have but to... But also, Trigger Investment Bank. Excuse me, you're right. Drew, are you still there? Your, your mic is muted. Yes, I am still here. Uh, one second. All right, my bad. You're fine. Um... So, yes. Uh, did somebody ask me a question or... <laughs> no, we were just moving on with the game. So we're... Uh, oh, I see. We're paying out the investment bank and then we're going to yep. do okay. local news. So I get uh, one, two, three, four because I have I have ten. And you have two guys. Uh, and, you know, and it's one pound for every five and then I have two guys, yeah. Lily, you got your um, money? Yep. John, you got your money? Lily, you Wait, got... Money? Uh, investment bank. You got two right two. oh yep i get one yep. yep and garrick did you get your one i did indeed get my one okay cool um and there are there any other powers at the end of attrition i remember there being something i don't think any of us uh, have it oh shit um we all need one more dollar from the stupid law that we passed uh that happens during uh. trade uh i don't think that would have made a difference for lily how much did you need lily to get your thing I think you needed, I needed exactly. You needed exactly what I gave you, so you would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I needed. Yeah. No. So we're good. Um, would that have changed any of the calculus for anyone's investment bank? Like, would would anyone? Did that put anyone over a threshold? No, it doesn't look like no, it. No. No. Okay. Cool. No. Sorry that I forgot that. 
Uh, and then we are on to this vote. Local news. Popular support is at minus three. Uh, and we are voting on tenure limitations, which increases the result of all attrition rolls by one. If we voted in, then uh, we cannot purchase any goods and the company is probably screwed. But uh, also, if we voted in, everyone retires a lot easier. <laughs> Oh, and uh, this comes back to my bag, and all three of these ships go back to the stock. Does it go back to your bag, or does it leave the game? No, it goes back to my bag. It's a, it's returned to the stock, is okay. what it says. Cool, cool. Um, and then this treasury can just leave. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the chairman, or the whoever was most recently the chairman, is the first to vote, so you are up walsh with uh three votes all right i guess i will vote uh against all right uh then john has two votes house of commons and a shipyard um i'm going to vote four all right back to minus four uh lily with three votes now due to house of commons three votes I'll vote for. No, Lily! <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, well, <laughs> it looks like it's down to my two votes. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Hmm, if the company fails, I'll get a guaranteed retirement, and I could buy a Scottish island. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I have 17 in my treasury. Yeah, so we could go... Uh, oh, this this, forced, yeah, this forced failure would be 15 plus 2, and I would have exactly enough to basically win the game. Six points is a lot. Oh, oh wait. I don't want to vote against them. <laughs> 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 I don't want to give you a Scottish island. That's no fun. <laughs> um. All right. Well, fine. <laughs> so it was at three. You had. Oh, you had three votes. It was at negative four. So now it's back down to negative seven, and my vote is irrelevant. Uh, I'm certainly not paying. What would that be? I really didn't care which way it went. I was just hoping to get a promise cube out of it. So <laughs> I'll vote no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and so it stays there, and then we are into the refresh phase. So John's uh, two officers. Wait, we voted a, pool. We voted against. So wouldn't it wouldn't it move? No. If you vote against it, uh, this is like the discard pile essentially. Oh. Uh, okay. If we voted for, then it would come out, and you'd put it out as like an active law, like over here, or wherever we want to put active laws. Oh, then I. Did you misunderstand uh, yeah. that? Would you have voted the opposite direction? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't matter because it... Well, no, it would have. So it started at three. Garrick voted no with his three. three. And then you would have voted yes with your two, right? He would have voted no. He yeah, voted he voted yes. yes. I did. Yeah, I did vote yes. I would it, have just, voted. it just would have solidified it even more. Well, okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. If everyone voted yeah. no, then it definitely would have yeah, failed. Yeah. So it, it really, really failed. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we're on refresh. Uh, these go away, the goods that were used, which is all of them. These ships come back into stock, or into the presidencies, I should say. Uh, these filled orders go off. Oh, got the thing. Um, there's no office, there's no captains. Oh, God, there's no captains. Uh, there's no more officers. What else do we do during refresh? Oh, that's what those arrows are. So this is the exhausted box down here because they come back up. The guns come back up during gotcha. the refresh phase. All of these that... little arrows on the board are the refresh phase. I guess that makes sense. Um, specifically because that's over here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's right. And the ships come down. Yeah. Okay. So we got everything. All right, so that is round three. We are now in round four, and we are back to the new family phase. So starting with uh, Garrick. Yes, you're the most recent chairman. Um, let's see.
Well, everyone's been awfully quiet. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, put out a captain. Try and make some money in uh, <clears throat> in a round or two. You can put out two. Uh, I won't wanted. be able to buy two boats. That's true. Yeah, I mean, he's he's only one away, and all you need is a loan from one of the other uh, generous players. Uh, I'm only one away whole, if there are no other You have a whole captains. round. You know what I mean? There's a whole round oh, though to, to make that money. Yeah, that too. That's also true. You're not, you're not buying that captain until round five. It's true. Um, and Which, I have... by the way, means that it'll be tough to get your money back out of the captain. It'll just be about floating more boats for the company. But uh, 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 We're making compelling arguments. The nice thing about the campaign scenario is uh, captains are insanely good for your family uh, once the company deregulates because you can use them to sail to uh, regions by yourself when you gotcha. float a firm. Um, but because we're in the early scenario, so like, don't internalize this advice because it's no, it will never be relevant again. Uh, but in this particular scenario, you probably don't want to buy captains after like round uh, three or two, yeah. even maybe. I just want money. <laughs> um honestly nobody has anything in the writer's box and uh yeah that was There's like no my second guess. writer the writer's box it, it always feels lame to put stuff in the writer's box because it's not very exciting but trust me There's still no open spots you uh <laughs> that's a good point there's nobody nah yeah so maybe you don't need it yet <laughs> I mean, is it better to wait until... I, I, I remember, uh, I, I was thinking that there was a bunch of retirements, but one was forced because the presidency closed, and the other was the chairman that's going to get voted. So, yeah, you're right. Writers maybe are not necessary yet. Because you well, can see what... We have a vacated chairman, so we're going to have a promotion, and then we're going to have a promotion. No, that, and then that, comes from, that comes from here. That comes from here. Uh, You're right. Chairman comes from here. You're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. I mean, should I just buy more shares? <laughs> <laughs> honestly if you want more money that's a decent way to do it it seems like the thing to do but um i mean i guess it depends on who they're, becomes chairman. they're cheap right now they're cheap right now right but yeah um they and the company is not likely to make enough money to pay uh two dividends unless you become the chairman again Honestly, if you put one in shares, you're going to be the chairman again if you want it. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Can, which means you could then, like now could be the time that you actually do bail on the company and force it to go bankrupt by just doing nothing but dividends. <laughs> so that's an option. Yeah, I think I want to buy shares. But but technically you're losing money on every share unless they sit in there for longer than one round. Because like they cost three and they're only going to give you one back per dividends. Um. If you do two dividends, then it's less bad. If you do three, then you're breaking even. And uh, also, I don't know if anyone has noticed yet, or if I mentioned it, but yeah, like shares are also point. worth a victory point. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. <coughs> mm. God, how much money can we actually make this round? About 10, 15. I guess we could go for the, like, 31 again. Maybe I just buy one share. I 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go with just the one share, I think. It's slightly more conservative. Okay. So that is three pounds of revenue into the company treasury to be assigned immediately, except there's no chairman to assign it yet. So got to wait for a new chairman to assign it. Uh, John, you're up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I'm making this vote spicy. I like it. <laughs> I just want to get some money, man, because I'm broke. Um, and, and I think, I have, I, think I have some retirements coming up, so I'm kind of, I feel like I'm trying to set myself up to be in position to have money to pay for retirement. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Yep. Uh-oh. Mm. It really has a manner. I have nothing invested in this company. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> um, I am going to. Ooh, I only have five cubes left. Mm. That's better what... than me. <laughs> um, I give you all my cubes. <laughs> ooh, John. By the way, risky yeah. move over here. You have no cubes left. What? Um, oh, ooh. there's a limit. There is a cube limit. Um, <laughs> you can, so, we, can we, we can do trades these, John, to have one left. Oh, that's right. You can get one back from Lily at any time. Um, yeah. So you're fine. The, the, you have options. You can always buy one back from me or from Garrick as well. Um, it is worth noting, though, during the next family phase, uh, if you have no cubes in your supply, you still have to take a family action. And guess, where, and guess where the cube comes from? Yep, uh, off the board, specifically off of victory point generating spots on the board. Um, right. So you got to take it out of the court, out of the manners, or out of one of the prizes. All right. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to cancel. I'm yeah, just do yeah this you now. just do that right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to give you two, Drew. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Give me that cube. Promise breaker. <laughs> um, I'm also buying two shares in the company just for shits and giggles. Have fun, you guys. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Watch us all lose all of those shares when <laughs> the company goes bankrupt. <laughs> let's let's make hope. sure we don't vote Lillian because she is the most incentivized to <laughs> yes. bankrupt the company. Yes. Uh, and vote for blow me. up all of our shares. <laughs> Vote for me. I'm a great decision. Um. All right. So. Uh, that's everybody. So on to the company phase. Specifically, filling vacancies like the chairmanship. Uh, it starts with I'm me. Eric. Yep, you are the first to nominate. I nominate you myself. Should definitely vote for me. No, you should vote for me. You got married to somebody else, so you should vote for me. I would like. I would like to be considered. You would like to be considered. Well, realistically, I think Garrick and I are the only people with a strong vested interest in keeping the company uh, healthy because we have an insane amount of shares in there. At the moment. Why, why don't you think I'm invested? Um, you, I just I dropped. Guess. I just dropped you six dollars have... in there. <laughs> you have three shares which is less than four shares <laughs> and oh, once you become okay. the chairman you will only have two shares and then you'll be even less incentivized oh that's why i was gonna do two that's right wait when i go when you're chairman it comes out of the yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's why i was gonna oh, put man. two in but i forgot yeah the, this. these these three family members are on the board of directors and the board of directors votes in one of its own not some goofy rando from your family the heck's that supposed to mean <laughs> 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 all right um i think we should go for me, honestly why would we I... go for you drew you had a disastrous rain i had a terrific no, rain that brought no, this company back no. from the edge of disaster you okay first drew, of all you I had an even you more disastrous rain um or for hey, one remember when teams. that remember when that one presidency got closed permanently that was yeah cool. i'm pretty sure that was under garrick's uh tenure uh, that's India. You know, India's going to India. And, I did great uh, things. What happened under my tenure? India doing India things. 
No, no, your your flagrant lack Actually, it was of Lily. It was Lily rolling badly. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that was a flagrant lack of leadership on your part. I I Drew, had I some uncontrollable forces. Um, I will give you my vote if you give me a cube. Well, I Just am. One. I'm very on board with that. I will cool. definitely make that deal, but uh, only right. uh, it like. See, here's the problem. Seven votes wins this. Six votes. Yes. There's there's thirteen cubes in there. Or and probably six to six. six yes. Votes. Yeah. Um. So really, John is the. Uh, John, the you should chair. also get a cube from him. Or maybe uh, two. I don't know if I want to pay two cubes to become chairman. I want two dollars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for my vote. Um, I will give you both a pound to vote for me. I still want a cube. Y'all are worth more than that. I'll vote for Garrick. When he pays me. <laughs> yeah, see, like, <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> what? What's Garrick gonna pay you is the real question. What are you gonna pay me, Garrick? Um, I could forgive your promise cube. Hmm. I'll take it. All right, we have a deal. All right, so Garrick is the new chairman. Even if Lily and I both voted against, it would still be not enough. It would be enough, yeah. Um, Let's go, okay. Garrick. So <laughs> Garrick is the new chairman, so you must immediately allocate 15 pounds into the company. $15 dues. $15 dues. Um, let's put $15 into the Bombay presidency. <laughs> 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 um let's see that's one two we can give it a good for three we have one two three we want two more in there we got two goods for that uh so goods purchasing is fine um so we mostly just need to bump up bengal presidency a little bit so it has money to sail. Uh, Drew still got a special power, so that's fine. Yeah, that's probably good enough to sail. Uh, if we want to go conquering, this would be not a bad idea. And also, if we want to go con really, you might want to put some money in guns, to be honest. Ah, guns are terrible. Well, I don't know if you saw what happened earlier with Madras, but uh, if hey, you want to you get that? your presidency permanently closed because Bombay That's why uh, we have, revolts. We already have a couple guns. Fun. How many guns do they uh, really need? Uh, well, all, all, let's all look at who might target Bombay. Uh, Me. Punjab <laughs> might target. Well, OK, it's so technically the elephant is on two, so they're going to go to three Hyderabad. Um, and Hyderabad won't target Bombay, it looks like. They'll target Madras, uh, uh, Maratha, Bengal, or uh, Madras again. That's weird. Um, so he'd go to three, then he'd go to four. So Mysore uh, would target Bombay with a three if they did the conquest. Uh, and that would not be enough. We would have two police to fight it off, and you would need to spend two, which you might have, but you might not if you've sailed already. So what you're saying I think is, what it comes down to is get the guns. Uh, well, I'm so hearing... put it this way. You, there's two ways to defend against your presidency getting closed. Uh, first way is to open a second region, because if, if there had been two regions in here, then the one would have been closed and bad things would have happened, but the presidency would still be open because it still had an active region. So one way is to uh, either open trade or have the governor of Bombay campaign against someone. And either of those would open a new region inside uh, Bombay. The other way is to put a shit ton of guns and officers in the army. All um, right. Which I will have control over, I suppose. So take that into account. <clears throat> well. I guess it does behoove me to campaign from Bombay because that's 
more trade orders that I can fulfill as the president, right? Yep. Cool. So I should put more money into Bombay. <laughs> um, how much money does military affairs need? Three bucks? Yeah, goods purchasing has to purchase all the goods that uh, are available for one. So Yeah. Do we need more than three in the military? I think that's enough. Uh... Well, that's another reason to stock up on guns because they're so cheap. <laughs> cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap. Aren't they yeah. one? Uh, no, guns are three right now. Well, uh, put it this way. The, the, so this number is specifically the goods produced by our factories. So oh, these, okay, okay. Four, these four guns slash goods are one, but goods purchasing has four pounds in it, so it's going to purchase all four of these because you have to purchase uh, as many as you can. Okay. So then all that will be left is the neutral factories that cost three each because they actually, uh, they're not getting uh, <laughs> nepotistic inside <laughs> deals on their goods. <laughs> they have to actually make a profit to survive. <laughs> okay. So that that's going to purchase one gun. Yes. Correct. Yep. Got it. Which it sounded like that's all we needed. And now I have 10 bucks I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Yeah, we well, bought a shit ton it? of shares. Can you just keep it? Or does it have to be allocated? No, it has to be allocated. I suppose you could invest in the future. Uh, put more money into the presidencies? Or... Yeah, just put money in the presidencies. One, two. Yeah, because there's no earthly way to, like, try and get another thing in Bombay. Could we get Bengals? I guess you could dump it all into goods purchasing and then... That's what I'm wondering. I'm, I'm doing the math real quick oh, for that. Oh, no. Okay, so it's No, one we're good, limited one by ship. boats. Yeah. I mean, you can, have more you can have more goods in the presidency than you have boats, but you just can't sail with more than one good per ship. Right, but that's but the issue. But you could just like, buy up all the goods and then they would get dumped into the two presidencies for next turn, which might alleviate some pressure if you actually want the community company to survive into next turn. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. You could also buy more guns and give uh nah, I don't know. I mean basically I your that. choice are more goods, more guns, or more money in the two <clears throat> presidencies so that they can like Open trade and sale, for example, would be a decent option for either of them or both of them. What does open trade do exactly? Uh, it just takes a region and moves it into gotcha. that presidency. Um, I don't know. I guess my issue is I feel like we have a massive boat bottleneck right now. So yes, we have I'm, a really horrible boat bottleneck that's not going to get any better anytime soon. So I'm not seeing a ton of value in like all these investments because we're going to still be bottlenecked by boats because nobody's getting captains. Like we have all the boats we're probably going to get for a while. I told you guys not to vote that stupid law that closed the ship's <laughs> purchasing office. <laughs> we, you should have let me invest in captains. We could have had boats. Uh, that's that's true. I guess I did suggest that you not do that. Uh, I don't regret it because it was good advice for you, but maybe not great advice for the company. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say we just ride this company down, man. We just take it, take it off the cliff and see what happens. Uh, well, taking it off the cliff is heavily in Garrick's uh, best interest because he's going to get three free retirements out of it. Yeah. How do I take it off why the do cliff? You, why do you call them? Why do you call them free retirements? Uh, f I guess they're not free. They well, they're free in that you don't have to roll for them. Uh, automatic retirements is what I should say. Oh, okay. Because you still have to pay the. You still have to pay, money. and in fact, you're going to pay a penalty, just like Lily did. With yeah, this one. that's not great. Uh, I don't have the money to pay a penalty. That's true. You're poor. So I got to keep this company could, on the straight and narrow. Unfortunately, could, uh, could float you some money though. For um, what you want to like, you know, get married perks, like maybe? five times. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> 
we could uh, bind our clan together in a weird, giant, <laughs> incestuous thing. Okay. <laughs> Keep the bloodline pure. That's oh. right. <laughs> All right. I need some real suggestions on where to put this money. The Habsburg dynasty rises again. <laughs> I would just put it in the presidencies. I mean, what well, else can we do with it? One more good won't like we can ship five goods with five boats. So three more into goods purchasing is not wasted. I mean, are we actually getting anything out of that though? Um, no, we're not. Well, exactly. uh, we we could if someone opens Mysore. Uh, Actually, no, Bengal is more lucrative than Mysore. Well, you got to put it somewhere. If you want to take the company, <laughs> dump it all into military affairs so that we have to buy seven guns and then have massive company upkeep. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that because I don't think I want to tank the company. So, um, I don't know, five bucks in both presidencies? Does that sound like a terrible... I guess I sh should maybe put something in Bombay. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Uh, yeah, it also couldn't hurt. Yeah, do four, four, and two. Is that enough in Bombay to do anything, Drew? Yeah. It's, do... Bombay's got an army, so... Yeah, let's do it then. Okay, four in Bengal. Okay, great. Okay, All great. Right. Uh, any vacancies? Nope. So, goods purchasing. John. All right. So, I will take four. I will deliver them to the director of trade. I Don't worry. It's all there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lily gets a pound, and I get a pound, and Garrett gets two for yep. our collective factories. I got my two. Uh, okay, military affairs. I will purchase a gun for three. I think you forgot a uh, word there, Drew. What? You said okay, you didn't say great. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I will purchase a gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, I don't really see why I shouldn't just put the entire army over here. <laughs> <sighs> Because no, don't do that. something, no. something, you don't want to lose Bombay, something? Um, why, why do I care about Bombay? I don't know. Um, what, I what's don't, in it for me, Garrick? I don't have a better <laughs> argument. <laughs> no, send, send, me, send me over. Is it Bombay? Or... Yeah, this is Bombay. This is Bengal. Send um, me over there. You, how bad do you want to go over there, John? What do you mean? I... <laughs> Will you, give me, will you give me a promise to go over there? Sure. Oh, all right. Well, you got a deal then. Both officers go to Bombay. Uh, the I feel gun like we're, is going to go over there. I feel like we're playing Sidereo Confluence, except when everybody's just doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's first game. It's It's definitely lots of just doing whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't even really know how to value things. I've only played this game like several times, most. <laughs> I've only played this game even, several times. <laughs> you can't even accurately estimate how many times you've played this. I said several. That's accurate. Several well, is that's, explicitly that's like accurate. four or five. What? Okay, now, now you're getting closer. Uh, a couple is two, a few yes. is three, and yes. several is four or five. Or more. Yeah. Mm, it's, no, once it's, you get to six, you're starting getting to like some other word. What's the other word? Uh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's all that's, that's, that's when you're one trying word. To, that's one word there. A lot trying to hide yes, it is. The the A lot. <laughs> it's my favorite animal. <laughs> Are you talking about the ocelot? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the A lot. If you guys not seen that, uh, I've seen that. I know what you're referencing. What is it? Okay, thank you. I can't remember the name of that comic strip, but oatmeal uh, or something. 
Uh, it's the oat. Uh, is it the oatmeal? I don't know. It's got that similar art style. Maybe it's the. That it's other not one. Wait the why. <laughs> Okay, whatever. You're up, Director of Trade, Garrick. All oh, right, I'm playing the game. <laughs> Lily's so done with us. <laughs> is Billy even I mean, here I'm, still? I got nothing. To, I got nothing to do. No, I, I don't yeah, think I'm Billy's here. Studying. I was talking about Lily. Oh, you're studying. That's what you're doing. Uh, yeah, that's what I caught. I mean, I've got a final tomorrow, so I figured since I'm not actually playing this part, I can just study. It's fair. Billy uh, did leave us. Yeah, what Billy left us. He never Sad. liked us anyway. That's true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> do we have an extra good or to three two yeah you you put four in right so uh oh we do have an extra good oh shit you should have uh yeah i i didn't He's realize we had an extra good, bought another good. yeah well, i totally would have bought it if i'd realized we had an extra good i just mathed wrong okay great all right your presidency's <laughs> up <laughs> um Three. Um. Yeah, those are terrible. Those are terrible. I don't see much value in opening trade or campaigning. I don't think. Like I'm looking, it doesn't seem valuable to me. Do you think I'm wrong? Uh, it does making does make sale harder. Uh, it would have been a good idea if you bought one more good. Yeah, exactly. Sale to the two, uh, cost. But, in my store. but I didn't, so I think I just sail. Um. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> um. I roll. Let's go for. Let's spend half the money. Let's go for five dice. Uh, because the penalty is one minus one, right? Uh. No, the penalty is one minus the amount of... Oh, yeah, you're right. Penalty is one minus one. That's what that's a way of putting it. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Oof. We got two. These rolls have been awfully close with five dice every time. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, I sail. Doop, doop, doop. Doop. All right, company makes 16 bucks. All right. The governor of Bombay is up next. Um, so here's the deal, John. Um, I know you already paid me to move your officers up there, but uh, <laughs> I don't really have any incentive to go campaigning unless I make some of the plunder, and the plunder would be six pounds to go after Mysore because you have two All officers right. and the plunder is three. So I will campaign... Uh, and if we are successful, only if we're successful, you will give me two pounds out of your six plunder. Okay. All right, let's try this. Uh, so I will exhaust both guns. Wait, what's the what's the target? Three. Yeah, I definitely want to exhaust both guns. So one, two, three. So I have one die, plus I can buy two more. And you have your so power, right? Three dice. Uh, yes, that's right. I have my power. So we'll roll four dice to see if we get this thing done. Well, I'm here. I'm a good president. All right, we did it. So Mysore has been conquered by the company. Um, where's the Mysore residency? How do you feel about that, Drew? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I feel great about it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that was a successful plunder for six uh, into John's treasury. And then two for me, assuming he doesn't renege on his deal. <laughs> oh, I can do that? Uh, yes, nothing is binding unless it's immediate. And uh, I made a future deal. Oh, yeah, because it was if. That's fine. You take uh, we take made the agreement before I rolled, so. Thank you, too. Oh, thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, I mean, you and your sixteen dollars. <laughs> uh, okay, so Bengal, <clears throat> hmm, is just gonna sail for four dice. Uh, um, 
Ooh, maybe I should not sail. That would be hilarious. Are you trying to take the company? I want it. I, I kind of am because. Hmm. You have you have too much in the company right now. Or you have too much control over the company. Like this little triangle is crazy that you have all three. Um, and I only have one presidency that's making me three bucks a turn, which is really nice. Uh, but also, I would love to get an automatic retirement, and I have enough money to take advantage of it. It's fair. I hate it, but it's fair. <laughs> 16. What were our expenses? 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 6 left, which is not enough to pay a dividend. So yeah, if I don't sail, the company is going to get a bailout. Uh yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm just gonna. Oh my god! Hi, Gigi. Uh, uh I'm gonna open trade, targeting Madras. Um, so open trade has no penalty. So I spent four and will thus roll five dice. So we've established you're a terrible person. <laughs> My question is not whether you've heard that before. It's how many times you've heard that before. <laughs> uh, uh, no comment. Okay, that's it for me. Moving on. Uh, that, was, trade phase. that was not okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. No, nope, you don't get to say it. <clears throat> so what did you... What did you do? You sailed or you... He's conquered? crashing this company with no survivors. Uh, I, I might regret it with all these cubes over here. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> but... Um, what, was the, what was the action that you took? Uh, I opened yeah. trade. Or I, I uh, did this one. Open trade, the middle one. Oh, okay. Basically just to waste um, money. It just adds it adds a new region that can be traded with uh, in here, and yes, it's mostly just to waste money. Um, I, do I want to lose three shares? It's you probably... kind of already decided. Uh, all right, well then we'll run with it. No, you, I mean, go ahead and sail if you want to sail. So, I will not tell taxes. you not to. No, go ahead and sail. <laughs> I think you just did. You said it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Did they give you a promise cube? Would you sail? <laughs> uh wow i would um i don't think it's actually worth it let's see what did i calculate there was six left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, um i think with this much required dividends i think we're guaranteed to lose anyway because if i let's see i can generate 15 uh, and then there will be six left over after expenses. So that's not enough to pay dividends twice. So yeah, it's going to get bailed out next turn anyway, most likely. Uh, I would take a cube to sale from you, Garrick. I don't know if it's worth it for me because I'm getting... I'm only getting like $2 in profit from the company. Uh, I guess I get the three from the dividends. Yeah. Hmm... I'm basically sacrificing two of my five. Mm. Where did your director go? What? Where did he go? What happened? I didn't touch him. Uh, um, that's weird. That's really weird. I don't see any like stray cubes lying around anywhere. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, you have one, two, three, four, Did five, it get... six, seven, eight, uh, five in your bags. So that's 13. Um, what on earth? 14. On here it is up sheet. here. What the 15. hell? Somehow it 16. fell off the table. Oh, weird. Okay. So it huh. fell off the table and then it was like hovering over the side like it does. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Huh. I don't know how that happened, but there it is. All right, Mystery well, solved. Fixed. Um, yeah, I will. I'll take a cube. Mm. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You don't want an automatic retirement because you don't have enough money to retire the way that you want to retire. Exactly is the issue. So like, I kind of do want to keep the company afloat, I think. But at the same time, if it's inevitable that we're going to crash, then like, maybe I do it now and then spend the next two rounds trying to recover. Or I guess the next, like the final have, round. You have, you have just enough to put all of them here. Yeah, well, you're I, gonna pay the penalty. It's probably, so no, you don't. it's probably. Yeah, I was gonna say you'd pay the penalty if if he roll if the company doesn't crash this turn or if it's not bailed out this turn and he retires all three of his guys, then he would be able to get all of them into the investment bank. I think I give it a shot. All right, then I will sail. Uh, so that's four dice. Uh, um... Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. Watch me fail. Hey. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that's two ships and a gun for yep, the three cheap orders. Uh 15 more into the company, so we're at 31, and then we're off to the trade phase. So beginning of trade phase, we need to do shipmasters, so everybody gets one. Right, see? Um, tax. Uh, so the Mysore residency gets two in taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor of Bombay gets two in taxes, which I will once again siphon into my personal treasury. <laughs> uh, <That's> ridiculous. <laughs> Garrick gets two in presidential bonuses, and I get three. Uh, uh, interlopers. Lily gets two. John gets two, and I get two. Uh, and then family powers. Lily gets another one because there's two captains. Uh, John doesn't have enough writers, so nothing. Okay, now company pays its debts. Shipyard. So uh, yeah, I, 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 if you didn't take your ship card at any point, then do it. Okay, I okay, already. Took yeah, mine. sorry, I missed that. That's okay. Um. So debts. Yes. Yeah, so three in debts. Uh, three in the army or in the army. How much in the army? Um, so uh, there's six in the ar uh, seven in the army, plus three in the chairmanship. So we're at twenty one. Um, and then we must pay the angry shareholders. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we are at nine. Um, I get four from that. I get three. Lily gets two. John gets three. I guess maybe I should have put another share, like I originally planned to. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then Chairman allocates the remainder to any remaining offices. All right, well, uh, one, two, three, four. That worked out so well last time. And then... Um, I don't know that you're a responsible spender, Drew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, if you give me no money, then I'm not going to be able to sail, and then the company's going to tank. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, I kind of have a feeling it's going to tank anyway, so kind of my hope here is that I just retire all three, and I'm yep. done with it. <laughs> yep. If only we'd uh, voted term limits in, huh? <laughs> uh, I needed the money I got from... from I know, I know. You were, it was it was the right move, but yeah, uh, it was that was a bad time for that to come out. It was everyone except for me. Uh, I don't really have any other better places to put the money though, so go ahead and have four bucks, and I'll put one more buck into Bombay. Okay. Events abroad. Ah, my elephant, elephant moves twice. <laughs> There's an X. Uh, so the elephant is currently at Maratha, so it's going to go to Hyderabad. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Balance of India is still in chaos. Here we go. We pick the higher number. Oh my god. Six. 
uh, six is flip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we flip. Uh, that disrupts these trade orders, which means that we have to destroy three ships. Yep. So goodbye, me and John's ships. Here's your cube back, John. John's not mean. Um, <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> 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 Why is that the one people chose to laugh to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then next, the elephant goes to four, <laughs> which is my soul. <laughs> oh, God. At least there can't be trade disruption uh, there, right? It just revolts with a strength of six, uh, which is impossible to police. So yeah. uh, that, that's true. There will be no trade disruption there. Um, but that means my sword becomes independent. OK. <laughs> uh, if there were any orders on my sword, then it would have disrupted. So it's, I guess it's a good thing you didn't get that order and fill it. I guess so. Um, my sword re residency never got to be filled. Sad day for you. Oh, I keep accidentally locking it as soon as you grab it. Yep, that's great. Uh, and then the elephant is in three. Or four. Okay, that was in India. Now we do attrition rolls. Okay. Um, here's my exec. One. Nope. Of course. Um, um, senior in the uh, governor's yes. Five, yeah. And then my yes. military. Did you really retire? Oh, two, two of them? them yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. John, did you retire out of goods? Uh, nope. All right, nice. I'm stuck in this um, dead end job. Yep, have fun in your dead end job. Okay. Uh, so that is it for retirement. Starting with Garrick, you may retire your director of trade at normal cost. Uh, do we get the uh, investment bank money now, or is it after retiring? Uh, it says after attrition okay. on investment bank. So yeah, take that into account. Okay, okay. We've got 12 bucks. It's an executive. We've got two of them. And you have two retirements, yeah. Yeah. Want to get married? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how many victory points do you have right now? Excuse me, now. You've got two, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those three are probably going away. I have three, four, five, six. God, I'm doing terribly. Clearly, you should marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, let me Sorry, Lily, I've I've stolen him away. <laughs> I'm used to it. I swear to God, I'm so used to it, but I still try. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what the best way to do this is. Um Because it almost feels wasteful to, like, oops, do a House of Commons twice or something. Like, it almost feels like I should just go to House of Lords and then let the other one do nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, well, so kind of. It's so put it, put it this way: the victory points cost five dollars for two because that action is always available and you can always do it. Yeah. So you have enough money. So, so like I'm House getting Commons a bargain there, I guess. Good yeah. deal, exactly. Uh, but you're also right to think that this might be your last retirement because there's only two rounds left. Exactly. Uh, and you got to have the money to fund it. So like House of Lords, while you still can, might be worth doing because that's also a good deal, right? Um, that's you know, what is that? Like two point two points or two point two dollar uh, pounds per point. Yeah. Which is actually a better deal than this, but you're right, it does waste a cube. <laughs> John really wants you to marry him. <laughs> I mean, how much of a wedding is someone willing to pay? 
I was going to say, <laughs> if you can convince him to pay for almost all the wedding and you do both House of Lords and a wedding, it's not a bad play. Like, no, that'd be an amazing uh, play, which is why I want it. I'm but not going to do would, that. Would John be willing to pay six for the dowry? Oh. That's what I paid. I paid six for a dowry. Well, I'm... I think Funny, I'm, uh, <laughs> you're you're more frugal than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, who wants to pay six? I'll just put it out there. Who wants to get married That's for six? Nice way, it? Um, you know, I'm tempted, but uh, I don't know if you want me <laughs> to this time. <laughs> get more victory points because uh, I think you need me to not do well. On the other hand, like, I would happily I would happily pay for it. Uh, but also, I have a retirement and can go buy a Scottish island all to myself. So I mean, I think the <laughs> reality is... this time. <laughs> yeah, I laughed at that. Oh. We're not playing the Great Zimbabwe. Get the cows out of here. <laughs> Save it for Splatter Sunday. <laughs> or Saturday. One of the two. Ooh, you could, you know, if there wasn't a W day, you could always do, you could always do Whirly Weekend. So it's 48 straight hours of Whirly games. Ooh, I'm not against that. Like that. My wife would murder me, but. <laughs> With the return of Menez. <laughs> yeah. has a great point. You should marry the guy with the Scottish Islands. Like. I'm giving you two points, but it's also giving me more points. So I think it's still better for me. If you're willing to pay the wedding, I think I do it. Because you're going to get the Scottish Island anyway. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm just saying it would be better for you to get the two points in a way that doesn't also give me the two points. But if no one else, no one else seems to be willing to play ball. So uh, I think I still want to do it. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'll do it if no I'll, one wants to. I'll do it since no one else seems to want to. Let's bind our dynasty together. <laughs> Here's right. your six. I pay one. And then I will... Oop, I'll pay 11 to go to the House of Lords. Whoop. I'm out of money. Oh, crap. Uh, I think I only want to pay five. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, shit. You needed six. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll live. I don't, who needs investment bank? Uh, where's my guy? There you are. So my governor retires to. Oh, I guess I could just get fancy hats and buy a Scottish <laughs> island. Hopefully, with my president over there, that seems like the better option. It only cost me nine, so I will still get decent money out of. I'll get four and I'll end up at 15. No, wait. I'll get four and I'll end up at more than 15. 17. I can add, I promise. It's okay. I can't add. <laughs> um, well, here's a question. Uh, does anyone want to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll marry you. <laughs> You can't marry me. <laughs> sure, I can. <laughs> Lily, John, how much? How much uh, are you? Uh, uh, well, this pay? is a this is a popper's wedding. It's a little more expensive for some reason because this guy's not as prestigious. So, uh, I would need. What would I need? Mm -hmm. I need half. Round it down. So three. You pay the. You pay the no, I have to. I'm. I'm paying we nine. Pay nine. So you, you pay the five. I'll pay the four. No. John, five to get married. Um. I mean, I don't know. Like, I would do it for four. Got to be five. Half a cow. And half a cow. <laughs> and half a cow. How about five and my promise cube back? Uh, you want me to give you your promise cube back? <laughs> oh, I see. Five and I give you your promise cube back. No, your promise cube is worth two. Hmm. I think it's a not bad deal. 
You're not giving up any economy, though. Uh, um, I think I'm just going to buy some fancy clothes. All right. So that puts me at 13. All right. So that is retirements. And here I thought I was marrying into a family with a Scottish island. I have been hoodwinked, sir. <laughs> You've been hoodwinked. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get our Scottish island eventually. Uh, yes. Okay. So now attrition is over. So the investment bank fires. Uh, I get. Cube is here. Four. I'm putting it in there. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Thank you. My bad. Uh, I get four. Lily gets also four. John gets two. Oh, you guys are. Look at you. Garrett gets nothing. I went all in on the House of nothing, Lords. Nothing, sir. <laughs> you got a nice wig out of it. I did. All right. Local news. What is this law? Expansion oversight. Presidents may not open trade if it would open any depressed regions. Popular support is at plus two. Uh, Garrick to vote. Um... I will vote, uh, I guess, four with all three of my votes. One, two, three. Okay. John? Um, I don't really care. I'll go four. Uh, two votes. Lily? I don't think it matters anymore. Uh, you could spend money to vote it down, theoretically. <laughs> the law doesn't really matter as much as this X. And so yeah. either we I'll pass the law four. and no one can yes. buy goods, or we or we pass the law and it becomes a one, or we don't, and it stays at X. We can keep going. We'll just pass it. All right. Yeah, I will also vote for. Okay, so... Can't open trade anymore if the region is depressed. And then we refresh. So what is there to refresh? Not a whole lot. Guns. Three boats in total. <laughs> and oh that, my that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get real ugly real fast. Yep. Uh, okay, so. Oh, yeah, thanks. Let's Let's get some goods in there. That was that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Oh, come me on. Me too. Mine was also embarrassing. Oh, come on. Now who's embarrassing themselves now? <laughs> We're both embarrassing. I'm not even doing anything. Uh our dynasty has already fallen into the incest <laughs> trap and neither of us are capable of picking things up with our hands. That makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> We're starting to have gigantic chins and we drool. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, this one. Uh, wouldn't be whirly wednesday without a history joke okay um so that is it and now we're back to family phase can you even call it history if it's still uh happening in alabama <laughs> fair point <laughs> garrick apologizes for all of you viewers who live in alabama but also you probably know anyway. Roll Tide. Also, there are no viewers in Alabama. <laughs> I mean, you don't know that. I don't know that. I do apologize for any <laughs> any offense that my completely what? truthful was, joke may was... have had. <laughs> Never apologize. Just let me apologize for you. I, I, I immediately undercut my apology by revealing how not apologetic I was. We okay, should... great. Yes, let's it's move on. It's time for the family <laughs> phase. See, now YouTube's where I'm going to get savaged. You're, you're first, man. That's oh, true. I am YouTube first. comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here making jokes, waiting for someone to do something. Uh, okay. <laughs> that someone is you. That someone is me. I have no money. This shit's awful. All right, we're about to have a chain of um, uh, promotions. So it yep. might be a good time to put a couple of writers out, I think. Because I got a couple of promise <clears throat> cubes out there. 
that is fairly sensible of you. Yeah, we'll go for that. Uno and dos. I'm done. All right, John. Oh, boy. Oh, did we advance the round marker? No, we did not. We are on round five. It's like, there's no way we're still round four. <laughs> Game never ends. It's always round four. All right, John buys a manor for five. Lily? How much are cubes worth at the end of the game? Uh, two. Well, they're worth negative two victory points if you don't control them. And you can get them back Actually, with either two dollars or... Uh, I'm going to change my... Okay that instead does that change my thoughts nah Oop. every time I will join the party oh my goodness e yep oh it's Get terrible there's some penalty going <laughs> uh okay <laughs> That's family phase. So company has to fill vacancies. Chairman fills the director of trade. Um, let's see. My options are exclusively these two. Yep. Um, Drew has a promise cube from me. Yeah, so you probably want to promote me first. Yeah, I think so. Just get your cube back for free. Yep. There you go. Thank you, sir. Uh, although you have one of mine, you could just swap it. But I guess this is better because I still have one of mine. Exactly. Now I have leverage on you. Um, okay. So that is the executives. Uh, John now gets to fill the governorship of Bombay uh, from the writer's box or from the officers in either army. Or maybe it's just the army. Of... It makes a lot more sense if it's just the army or the region. Not that I don't believe it could be the other thing. It just that makes more yeah. sense to me. Well, my, my first inclination is to promote Drew simply because I would be able to get a cube back. Yeah, that's <laughs> just smart. Promote him twice just because he's got But I am, I am willing to... This is my first time in a, an executive office. I am, willing in, in, I am willing to entertain offers to get into the lucrative position of the governor of Bombay. Everybody? I mean, I want it. I don't have any money to give you, and I don't really want to give out promise cubes. So I don't have any money to get them back. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lily, you? Do you want that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much broken resources right now. I'll just, uh, I'll promote Drew. Promote. Uh, uh, provincial where? provincial offices are filled by their corresponding president who promotes any writer or officer in any army to the office so it can come from cool. anywhere cool beans good to know well, i'll take my yeah. cube back since i uh voted hey, hey over my family has continues our monopoly over the governorship of bombay thank you very much <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we wrap around to goods purchasing, which is filled by me. Uh, I'm going to promote Garrick to get my cube back. Sounds good to me. Uh, um, oops. Come on. Uh, um, and then I will also promote Lily to get my cube back. All right, that's it. Company phase. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't I guess. Chairman, I don't have a decision. Do you want to take any debt right now? <laughs> Since you oh, I'm still chairman about this last time. God damn it! Uh, you are um, still chairman. <laughs> uh, I'm less incentivized now because I don't own. I'm not a president of either region. Uh, yep. 
But like, I just don't care no more. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's two pounds uh, for so Garrick, nice. one for Lily, and one for me. I have money again, if you can call it that. Uh, Lily has the military affairs office, but has no money and no guns and no officers, <laughs> so we skip it. Yep. <laughs> uh, I have the director of trade. Um, I do want a dividend, but I don't think there's any way we're getting one. So we have seven, we have ten in debts, and uh, I mean, we're we're totally getting bailed out, right? Directors. Well, we are definitely getting bailed out. I was just trying to figure out if there's a way around it, but there's not. There's not enough ships. Um, so I'm just going to <laughs> send all the goods to myself. <laughs> Unless uh, it's, there's like almost nothing that would be worth paying me to give John a good because giving John a good gets him one extra presidential bonus, which is a pound, and he can't really give me anything less than a pound. John, you want to give me a pound to put goods in your office? Um, I don't know. You don't. You don't want to, John. Uh, if you give me a pound to put a good in your office, you'll earn one more pound out of your office. Oh, here I'll put a, I'll put a good in there anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> say you're incentivized to do that. I, it doesn't really help me because you didn't pay, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so that is it for Director of Trade. Now John is up for his president presidency. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. So what do you want to do with your six? Um, again, I don't know why this this part of the game just doesn't gel with me like it just doesn't make any sense well you haven't, had to, you haven't had to math it out yet because i don't think you've been in one of these three executive positions yet. right so that's that's part of it that's part of it it's also meant to be somewhat opaque i think like not well, entirely the system but, is supposed yeah. to be uh, like opaque enough that you can't i mean it's why it's getting replaced by deck of cards in yeah. uh second edition is because it's intentional that it's like confusing where the hell the elephant goes and what it does exactly um but i think john I mean, is talking about the actions to campaign open trade and sale yeah uh, and i, I was sort of to... saying the whole package but yeah anyway keep going so i just want to um sale and yeah you pretty two. much want to fill mean, those two orders exactly pretty much it yep so before you exhaust you got to pay and then roll um so the penalty for sailing is one minus the amount of regions that are open in your presidency. So Bombay is the only region open. So your penalty is one minus one. Um, so no penalty for the sale action. Uh, and then you just pay one pound for one die and you can pay as much as you want. Out of your oh. treasury, which is six. How many dice do I have right now? zero the the sale action is exclusively what you pay into it the only things that give you dice is when you're campaigning and the army give the army pieces give you one die each but for sailing it's just however much money you want to put into investing on the trip I'll just do four Ooh, risky business you think uh i mean here's the odds chart over here four dice I guess it's not that risky. Four dice has an 80% chance of success and an 18% chance of failure and a 1% chance of getting fired immediately. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. There it is. All right. Got some extra, too. Apparently, I should have had John rolling for me the entire time. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, okay, so five pieces... Uh, successfully sail, which means you can fill this two and this three, or I guess just this five if you wanted, but that'd be silly. And then the company gets 16 in revenue. Uh, Madras dog. residency yeah. is closed. 
uh, this residency or this presidency is uh, gonna go campaign against Madras. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's silly. I don't have it's, any officers. It's very silly. I'm just gonna skip it. Uh, so trade. Uh, uh, so taxes. I will siphon my two. Uh, um, interlopers. <laughs> Lily is the last remaining captain, so she gets two. <laughs> Uh, uh, presidential bonuses. John gets two for two filled orders. Um, the company should have way less money because I definitely forgot to pay upkeep for the ships the last turn. Well, not uh, less money. We've had we had three less revenue to put in places, but we didn't even spend the three, so it didn't change anything. Do we want to fix it then? Um, yeah, sure. You would have put zero in here. Basically, yeah. Or something like that. Uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. Uh, we were paying out stuff. Uh, family powers, family powers. John gets one because he oh, yeah. has two writers. John gets one. Lily doesn't get any. Lily yeah, doesn't have any because there's not two ships. Uh, and then we all get one for our <laughs> ships. <Yeah. laughs> uh... Okay, company pays for its upkeep, which is uh, seven hmm. military, three debt, and then I'm going to remember the captain this time, so 11. Uh, so it is 15, or 16 down to five. Uh, and then we must pay our shareholders, but we cannot. Oh, no. So we get bailed out. Can we um, go in it? Do we already do the debt? Yes. Is that enough? Uh, yeah, the, the debt, is, we have three debt cubes, and then we also have to pay three for this army and four for this army. Uh, I didn't bother to take a debt this turn, million. if that's what you're asking, John. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Could we I, use there was debt? There was no reason to take a debt. Oh, yeah. you cannot take a debt to pay your uh, shareholders. Yeah. You can only take mm. debt to put money in uh, uh, the offices. Sure. Sure, sure. You have to invest it. You can't take a loan and pay it out. Exactly. Um, okay, so bailouts. Um, first, uh, uh, we reduce the shares. So if you only have a single cube in the court of directors, you remove it. Uh, if you have more than one, you remove everything except for one. So we're all going to have one cube in there now. It's just victory points, burns. Uh, here you go, Lily. Thank you. Um, then we reset. So we, we got bailed out. Then we reset the price to three. Um, and how uh, do we? I forget if. Uh, no. OK, great. Um, so now we all of the executives are forced to vacate their offices, which is Garrick me, John, and me again. Uh, and then we have to pay the additional two. So let's just stick some things out. We shouldn't technically do that because those offices are not closed, but whatever. Um, and then that's it. There, well, actually, I guess technically the outgoing chairman allocates the remaining five. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Before you leave, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, you're the only place with boats. There you go. I care about the company a tiny bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, that brings us to, yep, that brings us to events abroad. So flip that card. Trade with China will be our event. We're going one event in hey, India. Hey, look at that. That might just save our ass. Oh, no, it won't, because we don't have any chips. Four <laughs> goes to five.
uh Maybe god are we still in chaos yeah so i was gonna say are we dice. really still in chaos dear god uh we've not rolled a flip to prosperous or a status quo yet this whole game and those are the only things that move it towards order oof and it's a five um so bengal revolts against hyderabad and becomes independent uh that would disrupt any orders uh but there are none on it so we're good does that close Hyderabad as well? I can't remember. Let's go check. Please tell me it does. <laughs> it would be really funny. Um, revolts. The region becomes sovereign and closed. Any completed orders are disrupted. Um, let's see. Yep, yep. Uh, No, it does not. Okay. It looks like. I think that might happen when campaigning is what I was thinking of. So we still have Hyderabad, although it doesn't matter because we don't have any boats and we never will. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay, so um, are there any more elephant moves? Nope, that's it. That's okay, just the one. So it just it chills in Bengal. If there were more elephant moves, it would drop to... Uh, the lowest numbered dominated region, which is the only, uh, it'd be Maratha, which is dominated by Punjab. Yeah. Okay. So that is that. And now attrition. So all of these guys are guaranteed to retire, but the rest of us can still roll for our seniors. Um, so I roll for my president or my governor in wherever. Nope. Oh, motherfucker. Really? <laughs> hey you can retire him for not a penalty with your three dollars <laughs> yeah that's great uh lily you want to see if military affairs guy re retires nope oh wow sadness. uh okay so first the chairman i have the retired. worst luck in this game <laughs> all right yeah this has been a funny game for you lily sorry <laughs> This is why I wanted to restart. This game was awful for me before, and it's awful for me now. Uh, it was... It was. No. You were doing good up until we started no. this evening. No. <laughs> and then things went downhill yeah, fast. Yeah, I was, doing, I was doing good when I got kicked out of my... I got uh, fired abruptly from my position. So that was definitely <laughs> good. That's true. But you had a good economy going with the investment bank over here. Oh, and then... And like, like you, you have a ton of money. You just need to get I some wish, I, I could have retired. I would have got a Scottish island. Then I've just been done with my life. I've been like, go, yeah. goals achieved. <laughs> goals achieved. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but no. Oh, are you retiring your chairman, Garrick? Uh, I'm trying to think if it's even worth it. I basically have to broker a deal for a dollar from one person to retire either of my people. <sighs> uh, well, this guy is... Oh, yeah, but he's a senior, so exactly. you're right. The cheapest would be this four. Yep. So I need a dollar from people if I want to retire one of them. Uh, and I'm wondering if it's better to just, like, you could, sit. You could offer a marriage. Well, I can't offer it to you, Drew, because you have too many <laughs> yes. points. Does anyone want yeah, to get you, married? You need to... John? Um, uh he needs six dollars six, six? Uh, no yeah no i was gonna do it for four but... i i literally cannot afford it otherwise i would <clears throat> strike a more favorable deal um i can do it okay well no no because it gives you two points this is true because i i get i get five whether i spend um 11 at the uh can't read it from my distance house of lords i wanted to go to the house of lords my executive um and then i could go here and here. yeah i mean john either john way definitely fine. wants to retire to house of lords but it's gonna cost him 13 yeah because of the two yeah. penalties so he's he only it wouldn't make sense for john but Lily doesn't have a retirement opportunity, so it might make sense for her. 
There they just, just pay it. Pay the six. Fine. I mean, you don't have to. Do what we we can talk about this. Do it. Okay. <laughs> don't don't bad. marry for love. Marry for money. He's taking was, all my money. <laughs> was Lily this reticent to marry you the first time you asked Garrick? No, she wasn't. <laughs> to be fair, I asked him for three years until he actually proposed, so I think oh, the so rest she, was on the other so, side. So, so, <laughs> so this is just what goes around, comes around. Yep. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> uh, so that's Garrick. Uh, I have the director of trade. Um... I'm definitely going to buy an island for yeah. 17. Um, so that puts me at. Am four. I wrong or can we call it after this uh, we round? Can, yes, if you guys want to. Um, no. I, Mary for that, pity. Thank you, B. Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> that is what just happened. Uh, John, <laughs> I assume you're going to the Lord, House of Lords. Uh, and that costs 13. And then back to me, and I have another retirement, uh, and I have four left, so I might as well just drop it into the investment bank for one point, and I am broke now. Uh, and then my cruddy fucking goods guy retires, <laughs> and I yeah, can't see, afford it. Goes yeah, back to your bag. Shouldn't have retired, um, buddy. Should have kept working. Well, Local well, news. Can I fuck up all the points? <laughs> yeah. Local news, uh, trade in China happens, so this office gets opened, uh, which normally is a lifesaver for the company, because look at these insane revenue numbers. Those are insane. Uh, too bad need... we don't have boats. Yeah, too bad we don't have any boats. Uh, but it is open. <laughs> uh, we're going to put a thing on it, and then <laughs> we refresh. <laughs> so these three ships come back. Uh, the goods go away. Uh, yeah, I guess we can refill that if you want, and then yeah, we're back just, into the family phase. I'm just doing it. Uh, but yeah, the yeah. game's effectively so, over, isn't it? So the game is effectively over. Yeah. Um, the let's see. I mean, so we got to vote someone in as a chairman. It, I guess. I guess it depends. Because here's the deal. Uh, if Lily specifically can get. To any executive office, then the company is guaranteed to bail out. There's no way we can. Well, actually, we only have to pay. We're only gonna have to pay three dividends. Oh wait a minute, this should be zero, shouldn't it? Oh yes, it should. Um. Hey. Uh. My favorite person in chat is telling <laughs> us that we are now contractually obligated to play Oath again. I promise it's coming soon. Like this root tournament has been eating up so much of my time and energy but oath is coming soon on a worthy wednesday you don't know the amount of suffering that i've gone through b leonard you've been playing every asking, monday i keep asking i keep asking for oath and they keep making fun of me quit they grousing like anymore. <laughs> to play this week, but you were very very adamant about john company so clearly this is somehow your fault um that's true i did want to finish this game i love john company <laughs> uh it's a great game it might be my favorite early game. We'll see what uh, second edition does, to my opinion. I am really loving Oath, though. OK, uh, so anyway, Lily uh, is going to get promoted somewhere. Um, and so the real question is, can Lily like maneuver her way into two retirements and also have enough money to pay for both of them? Uh, because the, the company is going bankrupt again or going, getting bailed out again. Probably. Don't think it, it can. I don't. Is that going to no, make? It that's not going to make get, up the difference, is it? Well, I mean, Drew, yeah, you've I got I counted how much she has. So nine, she's got 10, 11, 12, 12, 13. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I, I don't have enough to make up the. Oh difference. yeah, I have, you're right. I have a shit ton. I forgot that I. Uh, I needed. I needed earlier. this guy to retire. I needed that guy to retire. Yeah, you did. The island would have made up for it, and then you might have been able to squeeze out a couple more points later. Yeah. So yeah, we we can call it. I'm happy to call it if we want. Yeah, I mean, I think the game's um, over. Yeah. Uh, 
So yeah, that is John Company, the early game scenario, which is um, only kind of John Company. Wait, actually, uh, before we mess everything up, uh, Garrick, how many points did you end up with? I'm curious. Let's, That's a good let's question. Let's just count everything up real quick. Um, let's see. Oh, but I could become famous. My, Mew Unicorn 20,008 said I can become famous with weird characters. 6, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Bigfollows.com. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Garrick is. Oh, you already added it. Okay, yeah. Uh, you were you were close, honestly. I know it's better the, than I thought. The, yeah, I have seventeen points. Um, yeah, but that's literally a single retirement from beating me, uh, like single good retirements. And that's the problem. I'm not set up for a good retirement because I have no money, and I have no, not in position in the company to, to make money. That's true. Totally ready to marry you for that last cube, just paying the entire wedding just because <laughs> I knew we were ending. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Lily has nine, it looks like, and John has one, two, three, four, five. I think it was ten. Ten, eleven. Uh, don't forget the cube in the court of directors. <laughs> all right, Leonard, they are all yours. <laughs> um, cool, cool. That was that was uh, a good game. And that was John Company, and we will play it again, but with the full scenario, because this honestly feels like a fragment of a game. That's because it was a fragment of a game. Yeah. Um, so I guess I could explain the deregulation if we want. I'm going to go. I don't, I don't know if you guys are about to pass out or if you're curious. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, well. I am curious, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, we should, we should end this stream. I am curious. Oh, but fine, I'm... fine. Time. I will next teach time. you next time we play John, John Company. John Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> won't, that, won't that just confuse people because my name is John? Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Oh. We just have you to make sure that you're chairman the entire game, and then we can say yep. that it's John's and then company. We can call it John's company. Yep. Tell you what. Be uh, flying high if I'm chairman. <laughs> you know first thing i do i kill that damn elephant i go out there i get that elephant <laughs> shut him down you know what that's your problem you can't don't have enough elephant control you gotta have elephant control if you want to win this game i can't believe nobody thought of that just gotta go out and shoot the elephant <laughs> <laughs> that's what they should call this game shoot the elephant it's a, uh, it's a yeah. It, it turns out that all of our collective misfortune really came down to one rogue elephant scheming in the right. stands. So. Right. <laughs> it's like we're all putting or our blood, jungles, sweat, and tears into trying to figure out where we should put our ships and where we should put factories <laughs> and our families and all this stuff. And the whole time, all we needed to do was stop the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're too we're too self focused for that. Yeah, we had to stop making ships in the yeah. first round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could have had so many ships. We could have been doing so much stuff had we not. Why is that even a law? Like that's just suicide. I mean, well, it's a great it's a great law to pass. Uh, late later like halfway mm -hmm. through the game when you've bought a ton of ships yeah and the company yeah. is like really healthy on the ship's front because um, it, just, it just turns all these into passive into passive, yep, passive in, income. Uh, income yeah yeah uh well right. and in a normal game too uh th so there's one family that only pays two pounds for shipyards and i think also factories um so like when they're in the game like you know there's like eight cubes in, in a factory or in the shipyard area as well. So there's like, yeah. there's a lot of money that can be made off of that law. That makes sense. Um, or, especially because like cubes in here are also votes. So they're uh, like, people are incentivized to place them early because they have more sway over the laws that do get passed. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff going on in the shipyard that we just did not see at all because we closed it on literally round one. <laughs> <laughs> Only minor um, regrets. 
Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys. Yep. Thanks All for right. playing. Later. Thanks, Ben, guys. Yep. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we are doing, we're trying to do Whirly Wednesdays every week. Uh, we'll see how well we can do that. And we. I don't know if Garrick is still trying to do his outro, but he just went on mute. Yeah, I muted the this Discord. This has been so Whirly could... Wednesdays. <laughs> I was talking to the stream. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> This has been really Wednesdays. Works. I don't know. I was I trying to talk. I was trying to deprive you of it. Um, <laughs> this has been a really Wednesdays. We're we're trying to do it every week, and we're probably going to do other things too. I don't know. Look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>